Happy Father's Day indeed. That's not till tomorrow, is it? Now, I hope you've all got your cards and you've all posted them. Hannah? Hello, how are you? Welcome to Sewing Quarter. Hannah's my producer. And she's forgotten to buy her dad a Happy Father's Day card. I know. She could do... No, you can't even do special delivery now, can you? Uh, anyway, welcome. Got a lovely day lined up for you today. Would you like to have a look at our new... Now, it's a new format with the menu, look. Uh, coming up today. So it's Saturday. So let's have a go. At 8 o'clock, we've got the Sewing Room Essentials. And then at 9 o'clock, it's John's Fabulous Fabrics. That's me. Then at 10 o'clock, now a craft tote. That's better, isn't it? It's a, it's a really lovely bag that Joe's making. And it's not a tote bag. It's a really gorgeous craft bag, that one. And then at 11 o'clock, it's me with John's Fabulous Fabrics again. Uh, it's a lovely morning lined up. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it when you get in touch. Uh, so if you've got any questions for Joe, any questions for me, anything you want to shout out, the best way to do it is by web chat, as it's called. And what you do is you go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com, and you go to the main page, there it is, there, and then you click on watch, press watch today's show, and then you get a bigger screen and you get sound and everything. And then if you scroll down the page, you see there's a little box there that says message the studio. All you do is write your message there. Now keep... Is that it? Good morning. That's from producer Hannah. Uh, keep it uh, short, not that short, obviously, but it does run out of letters after a little while. They are working on it. They are working on it. Uh, or, of course, you can email us studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Uh, if you want to send any photos in of any work that you've done uh, or projects you've made and things, then please send them. Don't try and web chat them. You do need to email them in, and that's studio at sewingquarter.com. While we're on the, the page there, if you scroll back up the page, you will see that next to me there, now, when I'm doing a live auction, live, live sale, the, um, what I'm doing at that moment will appear on that box on the right-hand side. All you need to do is click on Add It to Your Basket. And then, oh, and then when it goes to your basket, I've got no screen, so I can't see what we're pointing at at the moment. Uh, uh, we point, oh, there we go, it's back now, back now. So, oh, so now you've got some print silicone. Now that you must have Paul's open, because that's what Paul had, had in his basket yesterday. Uh, so, so you just click in there. Now you make sure you check out your baskets because you'll miss out on those things if you don't check out because um, things do have a tendency to sell out. Or if you go down to the bottom of the page, underneath where you're watching me, now there's nothing there at the moment. Isn't it funny? Some days it's there and some days it's not. All the products from today's show, so it could be any notions, any kits, any fabrics, and that, they'll all appear there. So you can also just click on them and pop them in your basket. We do have... A, um, a policy of only charging one post and packaging for the whole day. So no matter how many, you can come off that now, it's a bit boring looking at the empty screen. Um, no matter how many times you check out your basket, at midnight tonight, it all gets consolidated and you pay one P&P of two pounds and 95 pence for the whole day. For the whole day, 20, uh, 24 hours, two pounds and 95 pence for post and packaging. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm sorry we all look a bit, but you can't see the others. We all look a bit baggy eyed today because we all got really bad hay fever. Well, Hannah is really, really, really suffering. Now, before we go and see Joe, this, you'll recognize this because Joe's made this for several times before, um, but we're doing something different today. So, isn't it cute? This is a little storage, a uh, little caravanette storage, but if you look at the pattern, um, there's a choice of three things you can make with this pattern. You can make a wall hanging, you can make the, the pattern holder that we've got here, and you can make this gorgeous pin cushion. Well, today, Joe's going to be making the pin cushion. And what we've done is we've done th three bundles for you so you can have a look. So you can have everything you need to make that little uh, pin cushion or the caravan. Now, you can't make the um, wall hanging out of what with a kit today, but you can make the caravan holder or the pin cushion. What you get is you get a, is it the pink one we're doing first today? Yep. So you've got the, the uh, fat quarter bundle here. Now I will, I, I'm sure we must have some of these open so I can show you the fabrics inside. I'll get Munch to have a look at those for you. You get the, you get the um, fat quarter bundle, you get the pattern, you get your interfacing, you get your thread, your, your embroidery thread, you get hand sewing uh, embroidery needles, and you also get, now you only need three buttons, but you get a whole bag of buttons. I think it's 30 buttons in there. Um, yeah, 30, 30 buttons. All that for 28 pounds and 95 pence. So that's the rosy vintage. Then which one do you want to go next? Right, then we'll go to this one, which is a blue. It's like navy blue, striped, ticking, pale blue and cambric blue. Really lovely mix there. 
So again, you get the fat quarter, you get the 30 buttons, you get the uh, hand needle embroidery crewel, you get the um, embroidery thread, you get the interfacing, and you get the pattern for 28 pounds and 95 pence. And then last but not least, the eight stage caravan, very mobile, mo mobile, mobile. Um, this is lovely. This is like an ode and neil and um, greeny blue and brown. I'll, I'll open them up for you later. It's called Fresh Vintage. Fresh, oh, it's the trailer vintage. Anyway, Fresh Vintage Trailer Pattern Button. You get the fat quarter, you get the um, pattern, you get the interfacing, you get the embroidery thread, you get the 30 buttons, and you get the hand embroidery cruel needles there. All for 28 pounds and 95 pence. So. Let's go and meet Jo. We haven't seen her for ages. She's not been in for ages, have you? No, I've been away. Uh, have I not seen you since your holiday? No, you've not. Which holiday was that one? Now, that wasn't the castles one. <laughs> no, this the was... The down south, wasn't the Cornwall it? The Beaches wanted. one, yeah. Yes. Down south it was. Down south. Uh, did you have a lovely time? We did. Really nice. It's gales, but yeah. apart, <laughs> apart from the gale force wind, it was fab. Oh, <laughs> and you've got your next one planned then? Oh, it'd be summer holidays with the next one, won't it? It will, it's fast approaching. It's frightening, isn't it? Anyway, this is cute, isn't it? It is really cute. Would we say, this, is, this one's made out of the rosy vintage bundle, would we say it was a beginner um, or an intermediate or an advanced project? I would say beginner, sort of a confident beginner project. Going yeah. intermediate. So confident yeah. beginner going into intermediate. Um, it feels like there's a lot of work going on there. There's quite a lot of hand fish finishing and sort of details. It, the basic shape itself, not very complicated, you know, not too difficult, but there's lots of little finishing bits. And are all the, fi the patterns for all the finishing bits, are they all in the pattern? They're all... They in, are. Oh, they go. And not only do you get them... Oh, sorry. <laughs> the ...template, you also get exactly where to place them. It's really... Uh, the instructions are really good. And they go into lots of detail about how to tackle the applique and they are really comprehensive instructions so it tells you how to cut out how to sit oh yes got everything all the different um instructions everything there it's fantastic 28 pounds and 95 pence uh morning you've got my favorite shirt on you like the sunshine best start of the day lots of love lorraine oh lorraine i wish i felt like it today i tell you <laughs> um everything 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 you need it is really a really nice easy to follow set of instructions. Say that again. Nice, easy to follow set of instructions. Nice, easy to follow instructions. Right, okay. Let's do it then. Let's get started. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, come on. You sure you don't mind? <laughs> go on, we'll do some sewing. <laughs> do you want me to sew it for you then? No, no, I'm... Oh, I'm no, fine no. No. I offered, I offered. <laughs> um, there are three sort of main pieces to make up the pincushion. So the side front and back, and then the piece that goes around the centre. OK. But because they're fat quarter bundles, this needs to be placed on the fold of the fabric, but it's too long to get out of fat quarter. Oh, so OK. What I've done instead is I've just cut it as two pieces, used that as the template, but then added the seam allowance on one end. Uh, on the end, though, where, where you would have put it on the fold? Yes. OK. So, and the seam allowance is a quarter of an inch, six millimetres throughout. Oh, is it? That's, that's quite... Um Small. It is quite small. Yeah. If you, I mean, quilters will be yes, well used yes, yes, to yes, yes. doing a quarter inch. So I'll join these together, make sure I've got my mark. Shall I get the iron out? It looks like we're going to have to do some pressing, doesn't it? So I'll join those together at the top. This is So I've added a seam across oh, right, the top okay. here. So if, you've got, if you're not making out of fat quarter, if you're making it again later on out of fabric, that will be on the fold, so there wouldn't be a seam across the top there. Not that you could even notice there's a seam, really. It's cute, isn't it? Oh! I was it there yesterday. Oh, should I put the iron on? Munch, I'll put the iron on, shall I? We've got Munch in today. Munch is our... Um, well, those of you who know me from before, he used to work with me, me in the last place. He's our uh, filling in floor manager, because Jay, our floor manager... Have you heard about Jay? No. Oh, did you not? No. We, I shouldn't laugh. I'm not laughing, Jay. I promise I'm oh, not no. laughing. He was uh, running to his bedroom in the place he said, tripped on the carpet, dislocated his shoulder. Oh, no. Right? Signed off for two weeks. 
Um, but today, I said, I, I'm not going to tell you what they're doing at physiotherapy, but they're going to find out. I think, I'm sure he said it was today he was going, but he's got to see if it'll go back in or not till today. I know, so he's not been, he's got two weeks off. That sounds like agony. I know, but he's been looking at wedding venues while he's been off. Oh, well, so, you know. making the most. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I've joined those together. I'm going to press the seam open and then apply interfacing. No. Oh, no, your interface is wide enough not to have a seam in it, then. Yes, I've done this as a continuous strip. Right. Um, it says fusible fleece interfacing in the pattern, but actually I prefer to use this sort of interfacing that comes in the kit. What, why, why would they put fleece in it? I think to give, to give it some body, but because this is stuffed with filling... Yes. Um, ..just to sort of reinforce these pieces to, so it holds its shape, but actually if you use this, I think this supports the embroidered detail better personally. when you when you use because obviously we got iron on inf interfacing in our in our kit today in our bundle today when you made the other one you used iron and interfacing didn't you in, did. the, in the in the caravan cart one so that's got but well this has got a lot of body, body but as you say this is stuffed ready for this is the biggest pin cushion i've ever seen in my life i have to it say you, you could put quite a few pins yes in there. yes you could um right so one question why haven't you why didn't you put this on the fabric and then seam it? Could you do that if you, if you hadn't got one long strip? You, you could do it. It would just make a tougher seam. And you don't want it to be too thick because so that you can put pins of in. Of course, even right, okay. through the top. Yeah. So I'll pop this on now. I'm going to do it without a pressing cloth. Just so oh, OK. Already we've got two, two very popular, uh, the fresh and the pink. So this is the pink and the fresh is the... Oh, well, let's show you the fresh one here very quickly. There's the fresh one. It's got the... the, the, the um, did Munch have the uh, open ones of those? OK. I have to open them then, won't I? Is it hot enough? Yes. Yeah. It's not too hot. That's why I've not used a cloth. I'll just go straight for... There we go. OK. I might... Oh. Sorry, John. My interfacing overlaps just a tiny bit, so I'm just trimming off okay. the excess. It's a lovely fabric, that, that the vintage um, print, isn't it? It's really, my nan it used to have... My nan, it was really lovely, she used to have winter curtains and summer curtains. Oh, nice. And her summer curtains were very lightweight, and it, they were very much like this, but more of a yellowy, more of a yellowy print. I mean, they're lovely. Look at that. That comes from one of the fat quarters in the bundle that you get in your bundle. That's the rosy one. That's the rosy one. Right. OK, so I'll pop that to one side. So that's that piece ready. And then I've got a front section. So I've got the template as right, well. What's the difference between... The, oh, I see. The front's got the door on it and it's, the window. Okay. So is there another one for the other side with the two windows on? There is. There's this one, which... So you've got the placement to... Cause just for the windows on the back minus the door. Uh, lovely. OK, then. Uh, Marcia, good morning, John and Joe. Today my husband is watching with me, but he's not happy because he's missing the rugby. The, Oh, is it the Lions? I don't know. Is it a Twickenham? I think it might be. Marcia, tell us where it is. It can't be yet. The rugby players won't be up yet, will it? Unless it's abroad. I think it might be New Zealand or Australia. Oh, in that case, it's their evening, isn't it? So thing. Marcia, let us know where, what, 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 who, who's playing and where they're playing. Because I used to live in Twickenham, and on rugby days, you just didn't take your car out. You, didn't, you, could, <laughs> you could just nip out to the shops if you were in between when the kickoff had happened, you know, but that was it. Right. So this is the front piece, and then first of all, I'm going to place on the door and the window. But these are on iron-on adhesive. So you've cut all these out, have you, from I've, the pattern? I've cut these out already, so I used this as the template, and I've, I've cut out a door and a window, so I'll pop those on first. So yes, I trace them out onto the backing paper of some iron-on adhesive, and right. then press that onto the back of the fabric. We do sell, we do sell um, Bondaweb on our website. If you want to have a look, because it, you use Bondaweb. Bondaweb, yeah. yeah. Use Bondaweb, and you can we sell that on our uh, our website. So remove the backing. So now you can choose which any of the fat quarters for each. You can use your own, you know, make your own mind up which which bit of the fat quarter you use for which bit. Yes, absolutely. Um, you don't have to do them in this order. This no. was just the one I went for. I'm just going to use that. OK, British Lions are playing in New Zealand. That's why... That, oh, in 20 minutes. Oh, well, I should be oh. telling you that. 
Love the programs. This is Maggie in Scotland. Would it be possible to modify the pattern and make a machine cover? It looks such fun. Over to you, Jo. Um, I think I think it should be possible, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Because really, I mean, really, oh, I'm sorry, oh, you've placed those. Give, have you got another one of those? I've got one that I've already done. Yeah, yeah. To, really, yeah. you're just... I'll do it that way. Um, you've only got two side pieces like that. Well, I'll do it the nice way around. There you go. The two, the, it won't be in the pattern like this. And you might not be able to do it with a fat quarter. But all you need is you just need to grade that up. You need the height of your sewing machine, the length of your sewing machine, and the width of your sewing machine. And you could easily do it like that, you couldn't could. you? You'd make it great. Machine yeah, cover. maybe get this bundle, have a go at it in this, and then make, make your machine cover from there. Good idea, Maggie. Yeah, because uh, Jennifer Taylor, did she do it this week? That um, Jennifer Taylor's done it. Done it was very floral. It was very floral, hers. But if you wanted one like this, you could do, it, do a sewing machine cover. Right Hannah needs a sewing machine cover. I would do this on the ironing board normally at home, but I'm going to take a chance that they stay in the right place and move over. Look at those press on. And then... Curtains go over the top. You do need to put the door on first because this piece needs to go over the door. Oh, okay. Why does that go? Oh, is that the step? I think it must be the step. It's got so many gorgeous little details on it, this, hasn't it? You've got the door. This is what we're doing here at the moment. We're doing the door and the window. And then this section along here, I suppose that's the trimming, is it? I don't know. This is the bit, this is the bit when I was, um, a story, a, a showbiz story coming up. Um, this is, no, it's not, nothing to do with Angelina Jolie. It was when I was doing Ghost in the Darkness in South Africa with Val Kilmer. And he was, I have to modify the story because it's daytime. And he was going out with a very famous supermodel at the time. Um, and she was in, he went onto the set and got a message back from the set saying he's forgotten to bring his waistcoat with him. So I went running into his trailer, what he had a whole little campus of trailers. And I and it was like an American 50s trailer. And I ran up the steps here and through the door, tripped over the step there, and his very famous supermodel girlfriend had just stepped out of the shower. And I fell over the step and straight into <laughs> this very famous naked supermodel. That's as far as the stories go. <laughs> right, I press the curtains in place. They look like a girl's hair. They do a bit. Maybe it's tucked, yes. tucked behind ears. Yes. Put this across the bottom. So again, you can choose, because you're getting all the five different fabrics in the fat quarter, you can choose which one you use where. So if you wanted the spotty bit at the... It makes sense to use the stripy bit there, but you could use the spotty bit. You could use any of them anywhere, couldn't you, really? Make have a sp spotty front door. The spotty front door look good. I did um and ah about whether to have spotty front door. Did we want the door to match the curtains? So That's a difficult choice, <laughs> isn't it? Does your, does your... Oh, no, you're not going to go there. <laughs> no. Right. So, okay. fuse those on. And next bit is to... Well, actually, to put the trim across this section here. Right. I've not done it on these yet. So, I'm going to... On that one, I've used one of the fancy machine stitches. Right. So instead of covering up this edge here, I've just used a fancy stitch okay, to then. go over it. But you could buy some rickrack, which you've used the white rickrack. You could choose because we've got different coloured bundles. So we've got white rickrack. You get 25 metres in here. I think it's, oh, it's upside down. Back to front, defocus. No, no, but I didn't want the packet writing here, you see. £12.95 Rick Rack Trim. This is 25 metres by 14 millimetres. £12.95. That's the white one that Joe's using. But you can also get it in the pale blue. Go nice. That would go lovely with the blue bundle, that one. Again, 25 metres for £12.95. Sky blue. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see the red one and the, the other blue one as well? I'll do it very quickly, then you can start buying this if you want to. There's the red one. You see red rickrack on this one would look nice as well, wouldn't it? It would. 
Graphics coming in. Yesterday, you see, you know, all the computer uh, glitches. I just said a lot of them have been fixed, but some of them are still lurking. That's the red one. And then this is, I don't know what I call them, because I, I love the colour. I'm not sure what they call this one. Cobalt. Oh, it's not, okay, it's not called Cobalt. Royal, no, it is Royal Blue. It is, I was going to say Royal Blue. Royal Blue, it's a lovely colour. Uh, again, 25 metres for £12.95. You can never have too much Rick Rack. Right, let me put that away. Um, also, people are asking what they can make. You see the red one? Let me just show you the red one on there. You see, if you want to go red, the red one's also very vintage as well, isn't it? Look. That's nice, isn't it? Okay. Uh, people asking what? What's in the pattern? I'll show you what's in the pattern very quickly. Sorry. This is the pattern. So there are three different projects you can make in the pattern. You can make the um, pin cushion, which is the one with me. On the picture, it looks really little, but that's actually life size. It's, it's that big. Then you can make this, which is like um, a pack uh, organizer, which is on the other table over there. Nobody moving to see it. Okay, okay, don't worry. All right, now, oh no, I thought we might have a still of it. Sorry, no, no. And then you can make this. Now, out of the, the um, fabric that we're supplying, you can't make this because that needs more fabric than. Oh, well, I don't know. Could you? No, I think you'd have to piece it too much. For backings and things like that, because obviously it's it's um it's uh, but I mean you've got enough fabric to make that and that that and that that or that. Thank you. This is the caravan. There you go. That's the other one there. And you see, you just put your patterns in. It's like a storage unit. So that's the other thing you can make out of it. And then there's also the pattern for this as well. But you'd have to adapt that if you were going to use the fat quarter bundle, I would imagine, because that's quite big, isn't it? If you imagine that's that big. Can you imagine that's that big? Can you imagine how big this is? What do you mean if that's all in proportion? Anyway, so we'll carry on. I missed a step out. Oh, I know, Joe. I know. I'm, what should I've let out? myself down. Um, after I pressed those in place, I should have then applied some interfacing to okay. the back to strengthen this up, which I have done on this one. Oh, okay. So you haven't made a mistake, mistake. No. You just forgot just to mention it. Yeah. So I've put the rick rack across this one. Okay. So do the same on here. Okay, so on here, you've top stitched the curtains into place, and you've top stitched the brick rack. What's the what's that there? Have you just stitched those lines in? These they're marked on the pattern, so you can put them on as a guide. And okay. You've got a water erasable pen or whatever. But this is just machine stitching. Just I've gone up and down, so it's two lines of machine stitching. Yeah. In black. Oh, you're on that give, one, yeah, yeah just to give the detail on this. So I've gone round twice on each of these. On that one, and in the pattern it says to blanket stitch, but I thought it gives an another... Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we blanket... Do we blanket stitch on that one over there? Around the windows and the uh, doors. Uh, yes. And... Oh, Polly, I've been wanting this to use in my motorhome. Does the bundle make pincushion and the storage bag, love Polly? Would you, would you have enough? You wouldn't have enough in the fat quarter bundle to make both, would you? I think it might be a squeeze. Uh, no, I don't think there'd be quite enough. Yeah. So, um, so um, no, Polly, but keep watching. Keep watching, because I might have an option. I might have an option for you later. We're just working on it now. I'm not going to say anything else in case we can't. We might have an option on it. You do get your voice back, because what I was going to do was... Ha uh, uh, you carry on, because you're stitching okay. that next, aren't you? Yes, I'll just stitch this piece on. What was that noise? Oh, it was... Ha Hannah blowing her nose. It was the strangest <laughs> noise. Oh, it's horrible at the moment, the hay fever, isn't it? It's really high, apparently. Do you normally have hay fever, then? Oh. Yeah, that's what I was just going to go and get, you see, while Joe was sewing that. There you go. No running on set. What I was going to get this for is when Joe made this last time, when we did the kiss this last time, this was the blanket stitching. Oh, I'll show you on that side. This is the blanket stitching that she was talking about round the, which is what they suggest on the pattern. The blanket stitching round the curtains and uh, also on the door as well. But of course, you could do it like this. Oops. Where Joe's done it with just machine top stitch you want. But you do get black embroidery thread. So if you wanted to do that in black on yours, you could do. Okay? I'll put that there. 
Right, so what's next then? It's going to look really huge in those colours, isn't it? It does. I really like this rickrack. It's yes. almost like icing. It's almost got that sort of oh, gingery bready. Cake. Oh, it yeah. does look like a cake. Now you've said that. Ooh. And on the pattern as well, it even shows you where to place the, the button. button. So I've done that already. I've, I've sewn the button on. These buttons. There's two sizes. In you, the get 30, you get 30, but these all come in the bundle. These come in the bundle. M more than enough. You only need three. So oh, use on. these ones for the wheels. One, two, three. Yeah, two, three. And that one for the door handle. Yeah. And then put so the other 27 into your stash. Mm. So oh, or if you do that and lose one, you've got spares. That's, that's why I need spares. So those are done. Okay, so right. I'll pop those to one side. Is that everything done then? On the, oh, no, you've, you've got frilly curtains. And the wheel. They go on at the end. They go on at the end. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move the pattern pieces. So this that goes around the side. Yes. In the pattern, it tells you to join this piece, which is how I'll do it now. Just makes join it very with very small seams either side. So you've left an opening in the centre because that's where it will be stuffed. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I forgot about that. So join it together to make a loop, but leave a hole in the centre here. So I'll okay. do that. But you did yours differently, did you say earlier? No, I did it this way, but actually, I'd have left this as one long piece, and. The centre mark is on from the pattern piece. I'd have, and you even get on the pattern pieces, actually, you can mark where you need to keep the needle down. At the pivot point. Pivot point to turn it round. So I'd actually do it like that rather than okay, but work with a loop. But, to, but, but I'll do it, the way. do it the way the pattern tells you to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people ask about the bundles. When, in a minute, when there's a, a natural pause, I shall go over and show you the fabrics again. Leave the gap. Oh, I've, got, I've got some pinning to do in a minute. So. Oh, have you? Yeah, it'll take a while. So you've just gone backwards. Yeah. I suppose it has to be quite reinforced because you're going to be pushing um, stuffing through it and everything. Now, could you make... You've made the... Um, oh, no, because that, that goes at the bottom, doesn't it? It does. It goes across the bottom, yeah. So I've left a hole, and you want to leave it... As large a hole as you can, really, okay, because yeah. actually, with the interfacing, it's quite difficult to turn inside out, and you don't want to damage any of your embroidery work or no, of course. Whatnot. So then, it's okay. There's marks on the pattern pieces here that you line up with marks on here. Okay, and is this your pinning? The center at the bottom. It? So I'm going to pin this now. Okay, only pin it, but don't sew it. Don't right? sew it. Okay. Uh, Nicola says, "Good morning. How are you both this morning?" Well, I've got hay fever. And she's just in a grump. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for showing how to do this project as I bought the kit in May. Oh, Nicola, thank you. OK, right, let me just go over, yeah, and show you. Because you'll have got different fabrics with it in May, won't you? So, um, so if you want to make it in these, I've got some... Stay Well, Nicola will stay tuned, but stay tuned, Nicola, because I might have some important news later. So, now, am I gonna, I'm going to open these, aren't I? I'll do it very gently so Munch can put them back together again. Oh, that was easy enough. Right, so this is the rosy one. Actually, I didn't need to open this one because this is the one that um, Joe's actually using, isn't it? So you get all these, the five fat quarters in there. You get the five different fat quarters. They're lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. Let me move those across for you like that. You get the buttons, 30 buttons. You get the um, embroidery needles. You get the skein, skein, skein. Skein. Skein of the embroidery thread. You get the interfacing and you get the pattern as well. You can't see it. Oh, I've got a steal for you. £28.95. Then I'll go to the blue one next. So again, you get the pattern. Again, you get the interfacing, the embroidery thread, the buttons and the needles. But then you also get this. These are lovely, really, really gorgeous cotton. Um, well... Yeah, they're cotton, yes, they are cotton, these, cotton ticking. And then spot, you get the five of those. Now, there's no floral one in there. You like which one? Could be a seaside caravan. Oh, sorry, you could be a seaside caravan. All of that, do you want to show the still? For £28.95. And then last but not least, you've got the fresh one. Now, I just want to, re oh, I haven't got my blooming glasses on, have I? This feels like linen. I'll, I'll double check to see if it really is linen or not, or if it's linen look. 
Uh, it's got it's the cotton and linen mix, this one. Cotton and linen mix, this one. So you get the... Um, um, yeah, but I'm wondering if that one's cotton, if that one's linen and these are the cotton ones. I'll double check for you. Anyway, they're gorgeous. Look at them. I know people like to know, but look at those. They're, way going. they're, they're beautiful, aren't they? Those colours. Uh, you get the pattern, the interfacing, the buttons. There's the still there. There's the still there. Uh, you're getting all of those for £28.95. So what are you pinning? I've lined up the notches and I'm just pinning the side to this section. And it helps at the point, at this corner, where you'll pause with the needle down, just make a snip in this gusset bit that goes around here, yes. just so it helps it to turn. And also, I'll do it now, just as, you, as it curves around the top of the caravan, just make little V-shaped notches just to give it, and this is detailed in the pattern, just to give it that little bit of freedom to move and also take some of the bulk out of the seam. Yeah. I mean, you can do it once it's once you've sewn it, or you could, if you find it easier to sew it with that little bit of flexibility, do it beforehand. Uh, while you're pinning that, I'll just tell you about the rose goddesses. These are very popular. In fact, you bought these for Helen, didn't you? Your I mum. I did, I did. Uh, now, if you're doing up your workroom, this is Hannah's, this is Hannah's justification of buying them. If you're doing up your workroom in this, how lovely do they go with this so they'd match in with your caravan pin cushion? At six, she says that's what she dreams about everything matching. Have you seen what she's wearing today? £16.95, these scissors. I know. Also, if you're going to clip before sewing, definitely make sure you're well within the seam allowance. Oh, yes. I mean, it's better to do it afterwards, but if you do find it easier to do it before, and I sometimes do. Oh. So you're going right the, <coughs> excuse me, right the way around? Yes. I mean, I, with that one, I just went for it. I'm not a big pinner. I'm I know, it's just like pinning normally. Julie, good morning, John and Joe. Just want to say happy birthday for Monday. Is it your birthday on Monday? No. That's mine. <laughs> now, as I won't be able to watch on Monday, can you ask Joe if she knows where? And oh. then your message stops. So Julie, send in another message. Thank you very much indeed. It's a shame you can't watch on Monday, because I've got... I don't know if I should say. Didn't I'm not allowed to say yet. But there's no advert going out yet. How do you know that? Oh, you won't know. You're working on your birthday. OK, it's my birthday. It's your yeah. almost birthday show, Monday. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't tell you. I'm not allowed to tell you what we're doing. Oh, Hannah's been told off, apparently. Oh. Oh, I'll mention it before the end of the show, don't you worry. Just keep watching. I'll slip it in somewhere, as they say. Right, watch the, let's watch the sewing. Now, before you pin, have a think about which way round you'd find it easier to sew, because you might find it easier to have this bit underneath and follow the sides. I like to have it on top, but I, I know it's not necessarily the easiest way of doing it, but I'd just like to... I think I would... Um... I'm just trying to think which way I'd do it. I think I'd do it the other way round. So you've got the bulk fabric on the top and the flat pack fabric on the bottom. But obviously not. No, I think that probably... Would it be easier? I always... Because I like to follow the... I like the front, the facing bit on top. Just what, what you like best, really. Really, isn't it? Oh, Julie, I need the second half of your message, my love. Can you ask Joe if she knows where? They're getting this fixed. That's what I'm saying about your characters running out. They are getting it fixed so you can send longer messages. <clears throat> Your colourways are so exciting, says Nicola. Thank you. When in May, what did you what fabric did you get with yours in May? Will it have been? I think it'll have been that um, Notions fabric went a bit in May. Is that when you did? Where are we now? Do you, are we only in June? It might have been the Alison Glass one. It might have been the Alison mm. Glass one, yeah. We've done it three times, haven't we? This is the third, yeah. Oh, so this, this, this is, is the third. third. Oh, right. So we've made this. You've made this in the Notions. You took the Alison Glass one home, didn't you, to store your stuff in in your workroom? Yeah. <laughs> Just keeping it safe. 
No? Just keeping it safe. I'm saying nothing. The library's open on a Saturday. Yes. Also, Helen might be at work today. She might be, actually, today. She's thinking she might be watching. Helen is um, Joe's mum, and she's a face senior librarian something, <laughs> isn't she? What's her job post? She's like a, a, a casual librarian. Oh, casual. She's a casual librarian, yes. Oh, she's a fill-in, like, a, like yes. a supply teacher, but a librarian. Yes. So she can go to lots of different li libraries. She Imagine does. There's not that many libraries left, are no, there? not actually. really. And you think, when they talk about libraries, I also, I'm automatically thinking the one where I grew up and everything, you know what I mean? And you, I can visualise it now. I don't think it's a corner shop now. I don't think it's a library anymore. Oh, is Hayley watching already? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what I was planning. Oh, sorry, Hannah. No, I'm not into my either. So that's one side on. And now I'm going to do the other one. I'll pin first in the same way. But actually, I'm going to pin how would you press? How would you press that? When I'm stuffing something, I don't tend to press it. Oh, okay, because the press, the stuffing pushes it out. Yes, it tends to. And with the having the interfacing as well, it keeps it quite yes, flat. Yes, yeah. But you can press it if you've got a. a, a, a mini iron. Yeah, a or mini a iron would be great. Ham. A ham or a mini iron, yeah. Ham will be cheaper. Ham's are eleven pounds. Mini irons are forty nine ninety five. Got a message from Helen. I can recommend the gold rose, the rose gold scissors, <laughs> the best I've had, and I've had a few over the years. Yes, I'm working. So, oh, it's Helen, the nurse. Hello, Helen. How are you, my love? Oh no, it's not. It's your Helen. I think it Sorry. Might. What? What? I, what? I thought it was Helen, the nurse from Cheshire, because we've had Helen, the nurse from Cheshire. No, it's. I didn't know she was in Cheshire. Yes. You're in Cheshire. I'm in Cheshire. Oh, I thought you were in. I thought you were over the border. Helen, I do apologise. Let me just show you. This is. I thought <laughs> Helen, the nurse. She also does nursing in the library. <laughs> so if you're poorly in Helen's library, oh, I see. So I can recommend the Rose Gold scissors. The best I've had. I've had a few over the years. Yes, I'm working soon. Oh, <laughs> well, surely. The, oh yes, because I keep forgetting that normal people are only going to work now. Not we, some people have been. I've been up for nearly five hours now. It's like lunchtime for me. <laughs> Helen, I do apologise. Getting you all confused. It's because I'll be 39 on Monday. <laughs> no reaction <laughs> from Joe whatsoever. I don't quite know where to go with that. Yeah, happy 39. <laughs> it's not till Monday. Till uh, on Monday. Well, it's actually. It's. It was, I was born at quarter past midnight, so I was only oh. just into the just into the 19th. Not uh, you know. They were hoping I was going to be on the 18th because my nan was on the 16th. My granddad was on the 17th, or the other way around, and then they wanted me to be on the 18th, but I waited 15 minutes extra and came in on the 19th. But my mum and dad were in a taxi when I started. I wasn't due. Oh, you not? When no. you were early? Not, not hugely early, but they were in a taxi thinking, oh, it'll be fine, nothing's going to happen. Mind you, 39 years ago, things were different, weren't they? <laughs> People <laughs> the taxis seen... had horses in those days. <laughs> So now, does it get a bit fiddly pinning this second? I'm trying side it the other way because I'm thinking, well, maybe it is easier to go that way, and possibly. I mean, I would always have that, um, but I, I now you're I'm very brave. I know I'm trying it. Yeah, good for you, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> What's life without a few risks? I know exactly. <laughs> it was so funny because yesterday I had a new, a lovely new designer on yesterday called Jane. And she was very quiet and she's very reserved and, and I and she said she'd had a lovely time and I was like yeah you wait two weeks you'll be like Joe Carter you know <laughs> starts off first show didn't say boot to a goose just stood at the sewing machine sewing <laughs> and now you get lip you get cheek you get all sorts sorry Joe I'm trouble Carter <laughs> at least not Janice anything could happen Hobbs <laughs> everyone but gets I nicknames in the end yeah I do possibly need to go for an eye test. Oh, somebody wants to see the fresh bundle. I'll show you the still, but I'll get the real fabric as well. While you're looking at the still, okay. there's the still. Somebody just wants to see the fresh. Shall I take it over to the main table? Or, or do you want to sit here? I'll go over to the main table then with it. Fresh is this one, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody's just asked to see the colours in the fresh. 
Yes, exactly. So look, you can only see the top color. So this is these are the fresh colors here. Now I'll explain them to you. This one is like a jade. I'll open one up, that's all. An O'Daniel with the floral. You see, this is obviously that's the size of a fat quarter. You see, isn't that beautiful? So you've got the lovely um jade O'Daniel background, and then you've got the most exquisite roses in the middle here where you've got red, pink, you've got gold, you've got cream and ivory. Where, where are you seeing that? Oh, here. Yeah, lovely peachy tones up there. Right, and then you get like a kind of a very soft olive green. That's like a um, green and white uh, two-tone. Then you've got the ticking there, which is a really lovely. Now, that, the ticking in there is green and ivory. Then you've got the spot here, which you've got the darker sage green, and then like a um, sand gold dot. And then the smaller dot there, which might strobe a little bit on your telly, which is, um, what colour would you call that? It's not taupe, is it? It's more of a dark mushroom. What would you call that? A khaki? Yeah, khaki, maybe. Like a dark khaki, that one. Nice, aren't they? That, they're all the ones that come in the fresh uh, bundle. You get the bundle as well because you get the pattern, the interfacing, the buttons, the thread, the um, needles, and the actual um, fat quarter bundle for... At twenty-eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Right. Okay. Oh. Right. I pin this one, so I'll sew this on top this time, and the. Okay. The flat on the bottom. See how much easier it is. Yes, I'll give it a whirl. Did you have to snip? Did you snip that as you were going I've around snipped, as well? I've not. I've clipped the V-shaped notches in the curve once I've done, but yeah. I, I have clipped. I don't know whether it, you can see there. I've oh, in the corner. Just slightly yeah. at the corner, just so it lies around the corner yeah. a little better. How long would you take to say, how long would you say it would take to make this if you were just making it leisurely at home? Um, a day, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe a little bit longer. It's all the finishing and the, because I went through, but actually sewing around the windows and doors and things, especially if you blanket stitch and do it by hand. Yes. That can take quite a time. So how are we doing with that? Um, having the bulk on the top and the flat on the bottom. Oh, I think this might be easy. Thank you. It's only because when you do, when I do, you do um, period tailoring and princess seams are very, very uh, common in earlier, in earlier dressmaking. So you have a curved seam going over the bust and, and in the back there you get a curved seam. And to do that, you have to cut and snip into it and go around. It's just easier to have the one that's got the lesser amount on the bottom and then you can, um, um, what's the word, um, manipulate the, the fabric on the top that's moving. Because it's a straight edge following a curve as well, it's easier to have the edge you're following underneath to... Um, who'd have thought, you know, making a jacket for some Hollywood star and now making a caravan with you, Joe? So, and the same skills. Same skills. Life can only get better. <laughs> no, it is only getting better, not can. It is getting better if it kept... Oh, Julie, 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 we didn't get the second half of your message, my love, about you want to ask Joe where she... So if you could send in the second bit of your message, Julie, that'd be brilliant. Yes, I would recommend doing it this way around. Oh, really? Mm. Will you do that in future, then? I might do. Will you remember? She's just saying she's, she'll, she likes doing it my method of sewing it. I will, and I'll think of it uh, of John's way. Yes. And when it goes wrong? I'll obviously moan about you. Yeah. Nothing new there, then, eh? <laughs> um, lots of people saying they bought the pattern in May um, with different fabrics, and they're loving the fabrics we've bundled with it today. I've got the fresh one here. Don't go anywhere, because I've got a little, I've got a little um, update for you. And George, what about these ones in here as well? Yeah. In your own time, Munch. No, this is Joe. 
Hobbs. That's Munch over there. Oh, I didn't say Munch. Sorry, I did say Munch, didn't I? Giving away what I'm doing. Right. Um, before you do any more sewing, Joan, mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying they got the pattern in May and they're loving the fabrics. Well, now I can tell you that if you... We've been working on this during the show. I can now bring you these three fat bundles. If you just want the fat bundles... Uh, yeah, fat quarter bundles. Do I call them fat bundles? <laughs> fat quarter bundles. Then I can sell you just the fat quarter bundles if you want. So, if... Oh, the pink one first. If you've already got the pattern, or indeed, if you're just loving the fabrics and you don't want to make the caravan, you might already have a pink cushion and a, a tidy. They, £13.95. £13.95 you get there. So that's the rose. Rosy. That's rosy. They are limited. They are limited, because obviously most of them went into the bundle that we're bringing you there. That's why we had, uh, Hannah had trouble putting them in. So that's the rosy one. Which one next? The blue next. This is lovely. The blue uh, fat quarter neck. Uh, I'll tell you now, honestly, I've only got three. Unless you buy it in the bundle, I've only got three of these on their own. So these will sell out. The three of these will sell out. There you go. There you go. One's in the basket straight away. £13.95. OK, that's that one. And then I've then got the... Um, Fresh one, which you've just seen again. I'll just spread it out for you. Sorry, Joe, I'll be with you in a second. That's the fresh one there at £13.95. Nice. If the thing is, if you don't have to buy them. If you, if you just love the fabric, you don't have to buy them to make the caravan if you don't want to. Right, OK. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the Notions fabric that the um, original one is made out of. I've got that in a fat quarter bundle as well. This is the original caravan. Now, obviously, when we made when we made this, when we made this, we didn't make this as fat quarters. We made this out of piece of this is a piece of fabric, that's not a fat quarter. Um, so and now I've got the fat quarter equivalent of that though. This one. Okay. So this isn't as limited as the other one, that's what I'm saying. Oh, this is there's only three of these as well. There are only three of these. Now you get two. When the, oh, and when it's gone, we're not reordering this. When it's gone, it's gone. So you get two fat quarters of the notions, and you get plum, jade, baby blue, and navy blue in there. But there's only three of those left. Oh, right, OK, that's going to sell out, so I'll put that in there, put that in there. And then I've got another one, which is like a ditzy print, if you like this one. Ditzy and dots, this one. That'd be really cute, because you make your curtains out of the... Um, Little florals. Oh, blimey, you get loads in this one. Nice. Floral blue, ditzy blue, uh, ditzy uh, terracotta, ditzy lilac and yellow. Oh, you get two of the ditzy lilac and yellow, and then you get the two of the blue dots, one of the pink dots and one of the grey dots. And how, how many... Um, how many of those have we got? Oh, right. I, oh, I'm going to be honest with you. I've only got 12 of those left. 12 of those left. If you want to make, just if you want to make the, the um, you know, the ca caravan out of a different, um, different colour range. OK. Right. Back to Jo. OK. Well, I've stitched. It's all stitched together now. And then I've clipped V-shaped notches in the curve. More. Just on this gusset piece, not on these ones. Oh, OK. Just so it flexes round. Yeah. And then the opening we left under there. Now, right. It's quite tricky to turn out the right way. OK. Well, don't worry. You've got... Uh, Six minutes. I would. I might be a bit rough with it while I'm there. So yes, I do think it makes it. I don't know. Slightly more difficult joining the gusset as a loop before you sew it on. Yes. But then it does. I mean, if you pin it as well, following the notches, they should. It should go on straight if you don't stitch it as a loop. Yeah, that was all right. That turned too bad, right. was it? Corner 
So that's the main oh, body. And then the next job then would be to stuff. Oh them. yes, you're right. You're right. There's just too too many in there. Right, I've got to re. Before we do anything, I've just got to re uh, re um, iterate that there was a mistake on that last ditzy one. Right, this is what I showed you. Right. That's right. Which I said, didn't I? Blimey, you get a lot for your money. Right. So this is what I showed. But what you actually get in the bundle, yeah, yeah, just on So you get that one, 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 that one, and that's it. So just, so we just showed too too many. You get that many in there. So I'm just apologising. So sorry. Fourteen ninety five for that. Well done. Yeah, sorry, I just had to put, I thought it was a lot, and Hannah's just checked, and um, sorry about that. But I'd like, uh, we show our mistakes, we don't, you know, I'm not proud. One of those things. Right, okay, so what should I can now? On I've got three minutes. In the pattern, yes. the, um, the trim above the curtains is gathered ribbon. So oh, yes. Instead of doing that for this, I cut out a piece which is just more than, just over double the width of oh, the so window. Oh, so like you would do on a proper curtain? Yes. Um, Folded it over, folded it in half that way. It's two inches deep. Yes. And I stitched down the long side on a, one short side just to make a sort of tube. Oh, you bagged it out? And then I bagged it out. Hand stitched the short end, the remaining short end closed and then gathered it up and glued it on. Oh, glued it on, you didn't stitch it on. Put the needle down. Oh, <laughs> you keep catching me today, doing things I shouldn't be doing. Right. Um, glue. Fast tack glue. Uh, that's the glue that Joe used to um, stick the um, frilly, um, what are they called? Frilly nut nets. Valance. Valance, yep. Or pelmet. Pelmet, it's a pelmet at the top, isn't it? And once I put them on, just pin them to hold them in place while the glue dried. Oh, so that glue can just... Uh, you can just... Um, uh, that glue's permanent, is it? It won't pull yes, off? Yes, it well, won't I suppose pull it'll pull off if you pulled at it. Oh, oh actually, it's quite it, tough. It, it is quite um, sturdy glue. I won't try and pull it off, but it's... Oh, now, if I've got to go back there as well, I've got to take these with me as well, if no. That's all right. So, stitch along the long side, yeah, well, the listening, short listening. side, turns it out, and stitch that closed and then just gathered, gave it a press and then gathered it and glued it in place. Okay. And, and then just cut the threads out, the gathering threads out, because they're not no, there. I've, laid it, I've left it in, actually, because I've used a coordinating thread. I just left it in as a bit of extra. Lots of people love my butterfly shirt today, apparently. Then what's the other thing? Oh, the Suffolk Puff wheel. Press to the wrong side, press a quarter inch seam allowance and then stitch around sort of about three millimetres from the edge. I, I am using an embroidery needle and I shouldn't be, but that's all that was in the pin cushion. Oh. I, I forgot to check, sorry. That's all right. I've left one on the desk outside. So, stitch around and then at the end, or as you go, gather it up and it will form a circle, the hole in the middle. Yeah. So the two of those, the two sizes, stitch them together with the button over the top and then that's glued on as well. Oh, okay, so you make that as a unit and then glue and it then on. And glue the whole thing on. And the but same on the other side. There are great instructions in the pattern exactly how to make the yo-yos. Oh, you um, call them yo-yos? It calls call them, them yo-yos yo in the okay. Suffolk why are there only Why are there only two wheels on your, my wagon? Two wheels on my wagon. So it's a caravan. Oh, it's a trailer. It, yeah. Okay, then. No, caravans are four, don't they? Anyway, I've got to go now. Are you uh, right? You're back in an hour, aren't you? I am, I am. Uh, do, oh, do, oh, doing the most gorgeous, like a craft bag. It's not just a tote bag, it's a craft tote bag, isn't it? it is. Right, I've got to go, got to go. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Right, this is... Just to put those there. Right, okay, so I've got the four bundles here. We'll start here with the rose one. Yeah, this is the rose one. Rosy, not rose. So that's the, that's the kit there. If you want the kit, you get all of that for £28.95. 
If you would like the just the fat quarter, then look at the bottom of the screen right now. That's the fat quarter on its own, but there's only a couple of those. Please be careful. Then we'll move on to the blue one. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. So you get the fat quarter, but you get the fat quarter, the buttons, you get all of the pattern, the same as in the other one, needles, pattern, uh, interfacing, all of that, 28 pounds and 95 pence. I'm not putting the fat quarter in underneath because there's only one left now. Okay? And then last but not least, very popular one, this one. This is the fresh one. Oops. This is the fresh one here. This is lovely, isn't it? So you've got um, the, but fat bu the fat quarter bundle. You get the buttons, the thread, the needles, that and that, £28.95. If you just want the fat quarter on its own, that's at the bottom for £13.95. Why do you keep doing that to my oh, iPad? Um, I'm, go I'm going now, but in three minutes' time, come back. I'm on my own, but I've got the most fabulous Premier fabrics. Now, they're fabulous for quilting. There's some amazing, it's not bright, it's very classy. They're like blenders, they're like blenders. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in three minutes from now. Uh, where well, I've got, well, I've got the same, I've got, it's a whole, collection and I'm showing half of them in the next hour and half of them in the one hour. I'll see you in three from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Back by viewer demand, Jo Carter returns on Monday the 19th of June with her much-loved Panda Pop clamshell quilt. This unique mini quilt, complete with cheeky peeping pandas, is perfect for improving your technique and makes an incredible gift that'll last for generations. And what's more, Jo will be using some jaw-droppingly beautiful K-facet pre-cut fabrics for that extra helping of wow factor. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve with our nifty kit, containing everything you need to take your quilting skills to the next level. See how it's done on Monday the 19th of June, 8am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. You still haven't sent in your other bit of your message. Please send in. We want. Oh, Joe's gone now. You've got a whole hour till she comes back. Um, I've got Premier Fabrics for you today, but before we go to them, I've got these bundles which you're going to absolutely love. One of them, we had one very, very similar yesterday, and it sold out like that. It sold out like that. So I'm just going to show you, just like that, I'm going to show you the two fabric bundles I've got before I show you, introduce you to the um, brand new fabrics here. This is bundle one. This is lovely. 
This is called Blue Skies Solid Spectrum Fabric Bundle. You get five half meter pieces. So two and a half meters in total for 15 pounds and 95 pence. So what you get is, oh. I was gonna, normally it comes up on my screen what I've got, but it hasn't come up on my screen this one. There's ocean, which is this one. Dark blue and pearl. And then you've got vanilla and ecru. Yeah, there you go. So dark blue, ocean, pearl, vanilla, and ecru. Half, it's, well, it is, isn't it like the tide? Also, when you're on the beach, right, and then you walk into the water, it changes. As it gets deeper, it changes colour, doesn't it? That would make, do you know what? We've got a lovely, I, I don't think I can have it in today, but we've got, the, we've got a lovely, go on, look on the website, a book that's called Seaside, was it called Seaside Quilts? I don't know if it's in stock. I just saw it on the bookshelf before we came in. Um, wouldn't they look lovely? And those are going to tone so beautifully with my new fabrics. What I was trying to explain before the break is the new fabrics, I've got so many, what they did the other day, it, I wasn't on, I don't know who it was on, they tried to launch a new um, range of fabrics and there were too many. Oh, it's Hannah, it's Hannah. They tried to, it's not their fault, it wasn't their fault, I'm not, I'm not slagging anybody off. What I'm saying is they didn't have enough time to show you the whole selection in one hour. So I'm doing two hours, one hour now, one hour later with the new fabrics. They're all of the same family. This isn't new, this is the bundle. I'm just trying to explain that the fabrics you're gonna to see to go with this bundle, I've got it in two lots. I've got an hour now, and I've got an hour at 11 o'clock as well. Um, so that one there is that, now that's very limited. Just to warn you, that is very, very limited. Then I've got this one here. Now yesterday's was called Au Naturel, wasn't it? What's today's called? Natural. So yesterday's was French and today's is English. So what you get here, aren't they lovely, brilliant for blending these. Right, you've got here all the different kind of coffees. You've got mocha, you've got latte, you've got cappuccino, and they've got your biscuit to dip in. A beige. And the beige, the what? Of oh, the date. The beige date that's taken you to the coffee shop. That's Hannah's life, obviously. I don't even get dates anymore. Um, they're lovely, aren't they? Half a metre of each for five. Two and a half metres of fabric for 15 pounds and 95 pence. Now yesterday we had a, a bundle very similar to this, sold out in, within minutes, sold out within minutes. It's lovely, isn't it? That will go with all the beautiful fabrics that I've got, to, the premier fabrics I've got to show you today. Okay. Right, we've also put little bundles of thread together for you as well, four in each. Oh. No, we've got numbers, these don't have colours for these. So I uh, know I can tell you what they are. They're all for Guterman threads, so easy, uh, so all threads. You've got 112, 316, 78, and 310. So you've got like a navy blue, a dark navy, you've got a French blue, a cobalt blue, and an Air Force blue. Yeah, would we agree? You get all four of those for six pounds and 95 pence. Six pounds and 95 pence, I'll push those to one side. That's a really good deal, isn't it? Then I've also got these, which are lovely. They, I think this one will be very popular, this one. So you get the ones to go with the coffee cappuccino-y uh, mix here. So you've got chocolate, uh, ooh, cappuccino, cafe creme, and latte. Which are sort of the same, aren't they? But latte, you've got a little bit more coffee than you've got in your coffee, cafe creme. Six pounds, and depends where you go, which barista you get. If they ask for it, just a single shot, double shot with that, sir. Right, now these fabrics, what I'll do is I'll show you the fabrics very quickly first, and then we'll go through them all individually. Now, it might take a while for the computer to understand which fabric is which. This is, look at these beautiful, this is lilac, it's, don't worry, it's not a lilac colour, it's because it's the lilac bush, look. I did my prep yesterday, I know these things. So it's lilac, a lilac tree with ivy, isn't it? This is called the uh, Lilac's Full Moon Fabric from the Blue Sky range. Now, we'll go through all of the, uh, do you know what, it's only 5 95 for half a metre, it's beautiful. Really, really lovely. Um, so I'm going to just go through, show you each of them like this very quickly. 
and then we'll then I'll take you through the whole collection. We'll mix and match and show how you can make a gorgeous quilt out of these. And don't forget, there's more of the same family coming up at 11 o'clock. Do what? No. Nah. Not my job. This is hearts. I think this one's called hearts. Tweet hearts. Oh, sweetheart. Sweetheart Azura. This is the Sweetheart Azura fabric. Again, from the Blue Sky range, 5.95 for half a meter, 100% cotton, 30, uh, 30 degree wash. Isn't that lovely? I'll obviously go through all of these in full details in a second. That's lovely. That is so beautiful, that one, right? Then, moving on, I'm doing all the blue ones first, as you can see. Now this, I don't know how much of this you'll see at home. If you have a look, it's like a bamboo stripe almost. Yeah, these are all Macau fabrics. All have, look at that. Now it's, aren't they all gonna look effective in quilts together? 100% cotton, really, re that's so nice, isn't it? You don't have to use it for a quilt, I'm just suggesting a quilt because they're all gonna go together so beautifully. So that was the Rustic Gate. It's a funny name, isn't it? Rustic Gate. Right, Does, you know they employ people just to do the names. It's like in the car firms, they have a whole team of people to choose like Mondeo or Duke or anything like that. I don't know if I'm, they're not the same make, are they? Mondeo, Duke or Calypso. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. What's the matter, what's the matter uh, Hannah? Daisy Baltic fabric. Oh, that is so cute. I put my hand into the shot so you can see how big the flowers are. 5.95 half meter, remember? Really, they're lovely, aren't they? Really, really lovely. Right, um, now I'm moving on to the more beigey, creamy colours now. Still got blue in it, this one. This is a lovely ditzy print, this one. This is nice, because you've got the dark blue flowers, then you've got the kind of lighter blue leaves. Now, I don't know if, can you see on your telly there's yellow dots on there? See? Little yellow dots there are in there. They're the Med, this is Meadow Beach, this one. Oh, Meadow Beach House, sorry, Meadow Beach House. Do you know who's gonna love these? Who was it that had the blue, well, it was more of a shed, the blue summer house in the back, in their garden, and their blue bunting and blue cushions, and this is gonna look lovely in their house. Then, moving on to this one, I love this one. This one's very subtle. So, now, I don't know how close we can get to this, but this is cream fabric, and then it's got blue and beige uh, circles on it. Are they called bubbles? Called bubbles, this. Now it's gonna be, it's so subtle, we're not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up properly for it. Oh yes, there you go. So you just see the odd random bubble. Bubbles cirrus. I wonder what that means, Cirrus, isn't that a cloud? No, that's cumulus, isn't it? 5.95 half meter. Uh, two more, two more, two more. All brand new. This is nice. I'll hold this one up for you. This isn't bubble Cirrus, that's gonna go in a second. That's again. Can you see that, how subtle and gentle that is? It's not gonna be a shouty, shouty show, this one. It's gonna be a very, very gorgeous, subtle. Isn't that lovely? Graphics will be coming in a second. Okay, well, the, the only other one I've got is more of a biscuit background. Okay. Canopy Golden Hour.
uh, five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. I will go through all these with you in a minute. I just wanted to see them all. And then last in this hour, it's called what? Oh, windswept this is. Oh. Now it's called windswept twilight. I wouldn't have called it either of those. Yeah, the twigs are all flying into different directions, but twilight, it's not twilight, it's, it's, it's dawn. Anyway, it's gorgeous, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. £5.95. Now, that's all the fabrics I'm going to show you in this hour. Goodbye. No, I'm only joking. Uh, that's all the fabrics I'm going to show you in this hour, but I'm going to show you them together and in detail and everything like that. There are more of this range coming up at 11 o'clock. So... Oh, I don't know how to what to suggest to do. Put, maybe put them in your basket, and then when it comes to the 11 o'clock hour, you can have a look at them together or something, because there might be something you want to mix and match in the 11 o'clock hour. Uh, you see, normally you'd say, wouldn't you, on shopping telly, oh, buy it, buy it, check out, check out, check out. I'll only tell you to check out if we get, if we get to minimal stock. Do you know what I mean? Because what I think you'll want to do is I think this hour will be more of a watch and look and go, oh, yes, I rather like that one. And then I might bring in another fabric in the 11 o'clock hour, because they all go together from the sis in the sister range, right? Uh, in the 11 o'clock hour, you might, oh, those two look gorgeous together. So then you can start checking out. So unless we get to limited stock, I'm all right with stock on this, though, aren't I? Oh, right, right. With the brand new fabrics, that's what I do. If, now this is where, this is where our 2 a day post packaging really comes to, uh, to a fall, right? If you want one of the bundles, I would check out straight away, right? The sky blue bundle, which is this one here, I would check out straight away. If you want this, because then if you check out again at 11 o'clock, you only pay one PMP for the whole day, so don't worry about that. Be with you in 46 working days. Right, okay, so here you've got dark blue, ocean, pearl, vanilla, and ecru. And oh, Nora's loving the fab new fabrics. They're beautiful, aren't they, Nora? Um, limited, how many are down to? Oh, but okay. So this is why this is why I'm saying check out with this one. They've gone out so quickly. There's only two left. So if you've got this in your basket, check out. If you want that one, put it in your basket. Or call us now and check out straight away. Our bundles are always popular. Bundles are always popular. There's only two of those left now. It's called the, the blue skies. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? What song is that? Blue skies, nothing but blue skies. Anyway. So it's two of those left. That's it. That's it. That, we're only quarter past. We're only, um, only, only um, 12 minutes into the show, 14 minutes into the show, and already that's down to two. So I would check out all those if I, if I were you. And then this is the other bundle. Yeah, you want, had one similar to this. Obviously, had it had biscuit in it, but it didn't have the other colours in it. Um, when it flew out the door, absolutely flew out the door. So you got mocha, cappuccino, latte, biscuit, and beige. That this is, this one should be called Hannah on a date because she always goes to a coffee shop and her boyfriend's always boring and beige. Some people like beige though. Oh, she said she would go as far as boyfriend. She just said date. They don't get past the Costa coffee shop door. Other well, coffee shops are available. 15 pounds and 95 pence. Okay. You should go to that one at the end of your lane. She's got a lovely little coffee shop at the end of her lane. Mind you, when, you, when I go to pick her up in the morning, it's a coffee shop, right? But the next morning, the bin's all full of um, alcohol bottles. So, apparently, it's a cocktail bar at night time. <laughs> she knows that. Right, let's start these fat. I love this. Right, now remember, the price I'm showing you are per half a meter. What I've got here is a meter, just so you can see all of the fat. Oh, you see now, this would not only look gorgeous in a quilt, but j imagine, do you remember yesterday, were you watching yesterday when Jane, or new designer Jane was here? The dress she was wearing would look Gorgeous in this fabric, and like a 1950s sheath dress or a 1950s um, prom dress. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Or, of course, what Hannah's saying is a bag. Um, what I do is, if you're making a bag out of it, I definitely put your interfacing on the back because it's that lovely 
it's that beautiful, I'll just show you his beautiful, beautiful weight of fabric. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So this is called the lilac full moon fabric. I just think the print is exquisite. Just thinking, think, now, oh, do you know what would look lovely in it? What, is it a cloth, is it a cloth kits bag we've got? The little dress with the, with the little um, sleeves and the full skirt. We made it with Jennifer, you weren't here, were you? Not the swing, no, not the swing dress, the 1950s dress, the 1950s tea dress. Would look beautiful, absolutely beautiful in this fabric. I mean, I'm talking dressmaking now, but also we could talk quilting, couldn't we? Because you could make the most exquisite um, quilt patterns out of this. Because you could fussy cut, or you could just have the, the... I just think it's a shame to lose the meandering um, lilac and ivy pattern going up and down the fabric. Right, so you're getting, for $5.95, obviously you can buy as much as you want, but you have to buy it in increments. You have to buy it in increments of um, half a metre. When you buy, if you say you buy, say you want two metres, that's four units if you're buying it on the web. That, that would be four units on the web. Um, they don't get cut up. You get it as a four metre piece, you know, a two metre piece. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of just the increment you have to sell it in. Okay, do you want me to reach over and do it? I'll just go. The blue bundle sold out. I've done it. Blue bundle sold out. I knew it would do. Right. Just imagine. What other things? If you think about what other things you could make out of that. Do you know what as well? Because of that stripe. Um, you know I was saying earlier about my, um, my nan having uh, winter curtains and summer curtains. These would make the most beautiful. Uh, oh, in fact, you know, this is what, what I want in my bathroom. I don't want curtains in my bathroom. All I want to do is have a piece of fabric. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, and then just drape, like, so, so I'd want, I want the piece of fabric to go across the window like that. And then I want to drape that side up like that. So you create a really, wouldn't that look lovely? I might have to borrow a munch. I, oh, you might, you might not have to reach that high, will he? So that, no, no, not a Roman blind. Munch. Um, it would look lovely in a Roman blind as well, wouldn't it? Um, really, really gorgeous. But as I say, look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. If you made a dress out of it, look, a shirt would be nice. Can you reach the top of this um, here? Um, oh, now, if you're going to make, because we're making Jay wedding waistcoats, it would be lovely. But do you know what? If you're going to make, do you know that wedding you went to, Hannah, where you all had to wear little 50s dresses? Um, this would be beautiful after that. You're going to see a bit of munch now. Just hold that up at that top corner there. Right? And then, so what I want to do is I want to then drape it like this. I need a bit more than a metre to do it. Across my bathroom window like that. Do you know what I mean? So it creates a really, really lovely drape. Beautiful, isn't it? So you like, thank you much. So the light still comes in, but people can't, because it's on the front of my house, she said. I just want to, do you know what I mean? And then, and then what you could do is this bit here, if you, if you want to just be secret, you just let that bit go there. And it just falls, so you just have the, the, the fat, I, I, maybe that's beautiful. This is very, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it. It's very, looks like very designer's guild, doesn't it? And you know how much designer's guild fabric is a metre. Oh, Deborah's emailed in. Oh, Deborah, that'd be lovely. She's recovering her piano stool with this. That would be The blues in there are really rich and gorgeous. And of course, it's going to go with everything, isn't it? It's not going to stand out. It's just going to be really, really lovely and classy. Do you know what would look nice? A little footstool covered in that as well. What would you say, Hannah? It is a ve All of these fabrics are very, very elegant, aren't they? Oh, yeah, cut the wide. I'm, I'm saying, uh, who is it, Joe? I think it will be 44, but I'll just check, Joe. Oh, Joe, Joe. Not my Joe, Joe, is it? Oh, no, my Joe, Joe doesn't live in Alabama. My Joe, Joe's a photographer. My friend Joe, Joe's a photographer. And she um, lives in New Zealand for half of the year. Right, from edge, right the way from edge to edge, it's 44 and a half inches, which is 113 centimetres. But if I take the selvages off, because the selvages are white, it's 43 and a half, so usable 43 and a half inches. I just think it is exquisite. It is absolutely beautiful. So, um, uh, sorry, sorry, I've been waffling, that's only one of them. I've got seven more to show you, seven more to show you properly. 
but I'm going to, when we start mixing and matching, that's when I get interested. So I'll put that there. Put that there. So then the next one was, now this one might make your telly go a bit funny. This one's called Sweethearts. Again, it's the same, same family of fabrics. Still the same beautiful quality fabric. Now, this one's saying Jennifer Mills to me, this one. You know Jennifer Mills? I can imagine her wearing something made out of this. Isn't it lovely? Beautiful. And now, I'm, I'm, what, oh, no, it's not straight. Is it straight on your telly? It's right on mine in here. So what it is, is the reason it did make, you know, because at the background, it's funny, isn't it? I normally go like this. Well, it changes every time, doesn't it? Um, anyway, so here you've got the, uh, the crisscross background in the pale blue and the dark blue. But within that, there's another color. It's like a checkerboard uh, background. And then you've got this lovely, sweet... I've got... Now, what's it called? Um, the trees I've got in my garden. They've got a posh name, but they're called, like, bleeding hearts or something like that. And all the leaves are the shape of hearts. So they're beautiful. And they're gorgeous. Aren't they? One of those um, lovely vines that grow as well with a lovely leaf. Five pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Again, I'm seeing um, a little top that Jennifer Mills would wear, maybe. Skirt. Or, do you know what? This would be nice. Um, you know how Jennifer Mills does a lot of uh, denim? She wears a lot of denim. Use this just to bind it with. Let me just show you what a, a bias binding would look like in it. So let me just put that there. Now, I know this... I'm going to show a blue fabric. It's sold out. But I'm just going to show you as a, a binding. You see, look, how lovely does that look? You know, I've, this is sold out. This bundle's sold out. Now, but I'm just showing you against if you've got some blue fabric at home or you've already got a blue top that you want to just um, jazz up a little bit. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes, um, Hannah, when Hannah, because I, I, I was in yesterday and I went through all these fabrics yesterday and I was thinking all the different things you could wear. And the first thing Hannah looked at, and she went, oh, patchwork, patchwork, patchwork. Um, go and have a look on our website. If you haven't got your own patchwork, um, books or ideas or anything. We've got lots and lots of books on the website. Um, a lot of these smaller prints are, are very um, effective and adept for a, a patchwork. Aren't they? If you've got lots of little triangles, in fact, what I could, well, I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. We'll make a little, I'll make our own little patchwork in a minute. But that's beautiful. So that's called the Sweetheart Azure uh, from the Blue Sky range. That is really, really lovely, isn't it? You know, see, I'm also seeing one of Angie's um, book covers. You know what I mean, made out of that? Let me just, oh, can I fold that up? Sorry. If I just fold it up like that. You know how, oh, you know, Joy made that, um, keep your blocks in. A block book keeper, block keeper, whatever she called it. I would now back from Juliet with the rest of her, uh, rest of her question. <clears throat> now, if you're looking for a blender, I'd say this one was more of a blender than um, a main fabric. Or, do you know what? I know it's a, it's a bit posh for a lining, but if you're making a lovely bag, how this would make it look very, very jushy if it was lined with this rustic gate. Bluebird. Oh, bluebird. I can't see any bluebirds on there. I think that's what they call that blue colour, isn't it? Oh, sorry about my nails. I do them myself this week. <laughs> Could only find the kitchen scissors to do them with. <laughs> oh, no, that's just my nails are like that. Look, that... No, that one's got a ridge in it there. Uh, oh, where is it? That one, that one's got a ridge in it there. But it's lucky if the ridge goes that way, it means you've got something wrong with your heart, apparently. But the ridge goes that way, it's OK. Luckily. Anyway, medical... Pro any medical problems, just message in. We cannot help, no, not at all. Um, I think this looks more like a... Oh, my word, how big is that blue bottle? No, he will do in a minute, because it's bound to land on the desk in a minute. It's really quite big. It'll have to come in. It's like, um, what's those things the kids buy with cameras on these days? You know those things that go... Yeah, it looks like a drone. <laughs> oh, it was upstairs, though. It's made its way down here now. Oh, apparently... Um, Hannah called it Trevor. Is that all you said? Oh, it's clever to work. It's a staircase. There's a staircase it can come down. 
This is nice. Isn't this lovely? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous. The blue is like a very pale cornflower blue. And then you've got that lovely print. I'd say this is more of a blender or a binding fabric than a main, or, or, or a patchwork, or a patchwork, rather than a, um, I'll just move my hand down. Did that camera move then? Was it me? Uh, five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. They're such good quality. Really, really, really good quality fabrics, these. Who's that? Oh, lots of people emailing in saying they love the new collection. It is because it's, it's very, very classy, isn't it? It's a very, and can, I'll, I'll, we'll, do, we'll do a quilt in a minute. I'll do a quilt in a minute, but I'll just keep, keep going. No, I'm not going to make a whole quilt. I've got sewing machines gone. Otherwise, I would do, you know what I mean? But they're going to look so beautiful together. This. I love, this is taking me back, right? If you went to school uh, in the 1970s, and, I, no, um, Joe told me, and um, school uniform, right? So the girls' school uniform in the, in the summer, they had the most beautiful, they either had tartans or they had lovely little prints like this, didn't they? I just think it's, ri so if you're gonna make a little girl's dress out of it, if you're gonna make, oh, little girl's dungarees, summer dungarees out of it, or, I'm saying that, it'd make a lovely 1930s slash 40s um, tea dress. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's so, it almost looks like a fabric that you'd make a period dress out of for, like, um, not Poirot, because Poirot was too early, but like Father Brown or something like, is it called Father Brown? That one that's on at lunch times. No, it's Father Brown, that's the clue. It's about a vicar. Uh, and one of the... Um, we want to be together. That actor, he's in it. Do you know what I mean? Playing the Father Brown, no? Does that... Does that... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it is a little girl's dress. It's like late, uh, late, uh, late 40s. Uh, mid 40s, sorry, mid 40s. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, good night, Mr. Tom, that kind of thing. It's beautiful. It's got a very, very vintage... I think it's because not only is it a lovely classic print, but the, bl the blues and the golds in there are really, really elegant and sophisticated, aren't they? That's lovely. So, um, uh, one more, oh, no, that's the end of the blue, blue ones, really. Let's move on to these ones. This, now, this is the one you might have trouble seeing the dot on your telly, because it's got the most beautiful, it's a blue, dark blue fabric. Um, dark blue flower with a paler blue uh, leaf sprig. Oh, now you can see the yellow dot now. Look, I'll, look at, they see the yellow dot in there. Nice, isn't that pretty? You couldn't see that last time we showed it. Isn't that lovely? Showing the weave of the fabric on that one as well. It's really, really gorgeous. Now, do you know what this has all got the feeling of? And I'm, I'm Essence of Laura Ashley. That's what I'm thinking, the essence of Laura Ashley. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, it's because it's called Meadow Beach House. Okay. Are you going, are you going there with um, Mandy Shaw in September? Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know the pictures of the blue and white um, beach houses or houses in New England? That would be lovely. I'll get you some of the fabric. You'll have to buy your own house. Isn't it lovely now? What would you make out of this one? Well, normally, when we show a new fabric range like this, we have lots and lots of suggestions of what people are going to make out of it. Getting lots of messages of people saying how much they love it. But what would you make? That is, again, really cute. Again, I'd say it was an elegant afternoon tea dress, maybe. Lovely little blouse or shirt. Window cushions while you're looking out at the sea, Hannah's saying. You mean the fitted ones that fit into the window seat? Yeah. Yeah, the window seat she's got in the house, but she can't see the sea from where she is. Oh, from your New England house, she will be able to. I see what you mean. It's lovely, isn't it? The house I stayed in in San Diego last summer, that was all done like that, in the blues and the whites and the creams and everything. Beautiful, aren't they? Apps, that is so gorgeous. Uh, that's the other floral one there. Then, uh, now this one, I like this one. This one's saying to me, uh, blouse, a lovely crisp blouse, this one's saying to me. This is the bubbles fabric. Okay. 
Let's hold this one up for him. Oh, sorry, not my microphone. So this one's saying to me, lovely crisp blouse, this one. Like if you're doing the secretary look almost. Do you know what I mean? It's got those lovely blue circles. And then every now and then there's a kind of caramelly dot. It's a lovely, because the colour against your skin tone, because it's that lovely clotted cream background. Not white, not hard, not a yellow. It's a really beautiful clotted cream uh, background. And then you've got the little dots in the blue and the beige or the caramel on there. I think that is really lovely. But again, again, imagine how lovely that's going to look in a quilt because it's very fresh. It's a very, very fresh fabric, that one. Nice. Sorry, I'm being very self-indulgent this hour because I'm just enjoying these fabrics so much. Premier never been seen before, remember? Be interesting to see. Hang on, I need to fold that one properly. Be interesting to see, because what happens normally is when we have a show like this, because now we've started buying bigger, bigger amounts and everything, because we don't want it to, everything to sell out the minute you see it. What, happened will now, what will happen now is these will go into a project. Whatever's left after today's shows, they'll go into a project. Be interested to see what the um, scheduling team, what projects they put these fabrics into. It could be anything, really, couldn't it? But I bet you any money, one will be a quilt. One will be a Lucy Brennan quilt. There'll be a bag out of the, those fabrics. This is nice. This has got such a vintage feel to it. This, this has got such a lovely uh, feel to it. Look. Look at that. It's such a delicate print. Uh, look at my great big bold print at the background. Let me move out of the way. Look at the delicate, delicate print you've got there. Meadow field. So what kind of bedding would you make out of it then? Oh, okay. So um, Hannah's thinking of um, pillowcases and then trimming her duvet, the white duvet, a bit like they do it. There's a shop that's a colour that's not black, and they do linen. That's yeah, and they've got the uh, white fabric, uh, white. I'm sorry, white linens for your bed, and it's just trimmed in another fabric. That would look lovely, just trimming that, wouldn't it? But you know what? I, I don't know. It's kind of. I think my nan must have had something made out of a fabric very much like this, because as soon as I saw this one, I thought about my nan, my dear old nan. I wonder what she had made out of that. It's, it, I'm seeing it downstairs in my nan's house, but I don't know which room I'm in. Look at me doing, I'm doing a sidekick thing now. Hang on, I can see my nan's house. Um, St. Mark's Road in Saltney in Chester. I drove, I drove past it. Now, apparently on your telly, that's looking incredibly white. It's not white at all. It's like a really lovely soft cream. No, um, maybe not cream, but is it more of a, um, it's not ivory, but it's more of a, I, I'd say actually, let me go back to that one. I said that one was clotted cream. It's just a little bit kind of more biscuity than the clotted cream, if you know what I mean. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if it's... I haven't seen condensed milk for a long time. Is that like... Car no, carnation's evaporated milk, I'm thinking of. Condensed milk's the thick, gooey one that you make banoffee pie out of, isn't it? Look, we're talking about food. It's only half past nine. Stop it. And then I love this one. This one is very Laura Ashley, this one. Essence of. Essence of Laura Ashley. Um, this has definitely got a biscuit background. But then if you look at closely, it's got the beautiful just... Delicate, delicate little sprigs. Just going on there. Uh, well done to the person who ironed all those new gorgeous fabrics. It's going to hear. It's months, you see. Yeah, you see, thank you, Marcia, because I was going to say something and I thought, no, I said it in the break, but I thought I'm not going to say it on air because, you know, but they are beautifully presented, aren't they? Apart from this one. <laughs> Did I just crease that one? Sorry. Right, let's make our own patchwork then out of these. If there's any questions you want to ask, please do. Right, well, we're only able to put two graphics in at a time, but I just wanted you to see 
Let me try and do a pinwheel. How, should, how can I do a pinwheel with these? That was my finger scraping across the table. Right, hang on, so those two have to go into there, right? right. Oh, I've got too many, I've got too many, look. Hang on, let's, let's look at oh, There we go, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm getting there. Oh, my word, they look gorgeous. I've gone wrong somewhere, haven't I? Anyway, let's carry on with my pattern. Yeah, hang on, let me do that there. This, this needs a pinwheel in there, just thing like that. <gasps> oh, my word. To what, what? Yes. You see, I should be really doing the window displays in John Lewis's, shouldn't I, in Haberdashery? Aren't they beautiful together? So I'll take you through them all slowly, right? This one here, this beautiful, that's called lilac, full moon. I've had a message, have I? Let me have a look. Nicola, hello, lovely John. Just bought a meter of the blue lilac fabric. It's absolutely stunning. Nicola, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? But then imagine if you're doing a quilt. Now, isn't it funny? Yesterday, um, Lucy said, you have to have a fabric that your eye goes to. In a quilt, you have to have a fabric that your eye, what, do, what was the word she used that lies on? Basically, you have to have one. Do what? Eye to rest, thank you. Yeah, 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 but look. You see, that one would be your eye to rest, wouldn't it? And then these would be your blenders. So this one here is the lilac full moon, right? This one here, oh, you can be all right with this, Hannah. Yeah. This one here, which is the lovely blue ditzy fabrics with the... Munch, did you just hear the message that came in? Say how beautifully ironed the fabrics were. Uh, this one's the meadow beach. That's one with the yellow dotting, which you can't see from there. But you see, with the yellow dot, we just pick up the kind of creams and yellows in here. But then you see, so that this here, Meadow Beach. You see, now that would make, I'm, I'm doing, I'm talking quilts now. I've done enough about um, dresses and everything, haven't I? So we're talking quilts now. So we'll move on from the, the Meadow Beach to this one here, which is just lovely. This really, really lovely. What's, what kind of dress do you say? Oh, yes, like a vintage dress. Re that's such a lovely, lovely print, isn't it? Um, that's the daisy, obviously, Baltic. Fabric. Now, if you want to see any of these, just look. Oh, now, did you say the pictures aren't very good on the web? Oh, OK, OK. You can see all of these. If you look just below uh, where I'm, I'm on your computer screen now, you'll see this. Then this one here, that's a gate, isn't it? That's the gate songbird or something like that, isn't it? Rusty gate. It's like the name of a, of a, a cooker, cookery expert, isn't it, Rusty Gate? There you go, Rusty Gate Bluebird, this one. That's this one here. But don't they all team beautifully together? Absolutely gorgeously together. So that's the Rustic Gate Bluebird fabric. You see, imagine, I mean, they all work so well together, don't they? Beautifully, beautifully uh, toned in together. Then we're working around to the next one. This one's Sweetheart. Yet see more of the sweetheart because I've. You can make something maybe for your sweetheart. Well, Anna has nobody to make anything for. Uh, Michael on camera, he's got lots of sweet. You've got three children, haven't you? Two and one on the way. Two and one on the way, see? You could make something for your little one. Come. Do you know if it's a little boy or a little girl? You don't know yet. Okay. Um, I work with both, yeah. Really, really cute, isn't it? And then. This one here, now that's lovely. This one's the one, I, have you got a little sweetheart munch yet to send these to? Munch, you don't know Munch of this channel yet, but um, Munch has a penchant for ladies who are a little bit older than himself, don't you Munch? Uh, then we move on to this one, called Windswept, a bit like Munch's hair today. 
Windswept twilight fabric. See, this would be me and Munch. He's windswept and I'm in the twilight years. Uh, that is so lovely. I don't know if you can see at home that really, really lovely, subtle, subtle sprig. It's like little sprigs all being blown in the wind. Now, this one, on, on my telly now, this one looks um, more... Um, I couldn't see the pattern properly before, but I can see it really beautifully there. This is like, this is the one, I can't think what it is in my nan's house that this reminds me of. It's called Canopy. Or not Canopy, no, Canopy. Golden Hour. I wonder who thought of that. That's lovely, isn't it? And then last but not least, we've got Bubbles here. This is the Bubbles one here, which has got... Um, a more of a cream background, and then it's got little circular blue um, bubbles, and then every now and then there's a little beigey, chocolatey, caramelly one. Isn't, I know, isn't it lovely? Let me just move it that way. There you go. How beautiful that they all blend together so beautifully, don't they? And don't forget, at 11 o'clock, I've got even more of these. I've got more than I've got in this hour. I've got those coming up. Right now, so if you're thinking about it, what I would do, pop it in your basket, because until you confirm, until you check out your basket, it's not yours, right? So if you're thinking, oh, wouldn't mind a metre of that and a metre of that, put them in your basket, then when I do the 11 o'clock, I shouldn't really be telling you this, but when I do the 11 o'clock hour, you'll see all the sister fabrics. What I'll do is I'll bring these back at 11 o'clock as well. So if you've, if you've put one of these in your basket, you can see what they're going to look like with the ones from the 11 o'clock show. Do you know what I mean? They're all premieres as well. All premieres. They're just beautiful. Now, somebody wants to see, they said, did you have some thread packs going? I have got some thread packs going, my love. We bundled them for you. Oh, which one do you want first? Yep, the natural bundle. That'd be mine then. <laughs> I need some Botox. Maybe I should get it for my birthday. Yeah, well, they say prevention, don't they, before you get too haggard. There's this new one. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it at 20 to 10. It's called the plow, fill in the plow lines. No, don't tell me what happened in Coronation Street. I haven't seen it yet. Natural thread bundle. Oh, somebody having Botox done. Oh, OK. You get four threads. Four threads you get for six pounds and 95 pence. Again, you get like the chocolate brown, the latte, the cafe creme, and the cappuccino. Am I saying cappuccino? They're nice. But you get four threads. Four oh natural, oh, they're natural. Four, four natural threads. Well, when I say natural, natural is the color range they've done. They're 100% polyester. They're not natural. Yeah. And then the blue grouping. These are nice. The thing is, they're just brilliant to have in your stash, aren't they? Just have that perfect shade of blue. Um, you get navy, air force, cobalt, and French. They've called them blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. What is that song? Anyway, it'll come to me. I, I don't know if it's from musical, if, if it's from um, The Boyfriend, or it could be, is it not an Elton John song? Anyway. Six pounds and 95 pence for four. So you get 100 metres on each one. It's four of them, four different colours you'll get. We'll just bundle them together there for you at six pounds and 95 pence. And how's my natural bundle doing? Right. Still got the natural bundle available. Blue one sold out, blue one sold out. So just this one left now. But it teams so beautifully with the gorgeous fabrics I've shown you so far. Um, so what you get here is you get natural, no, hang on, you get beige, biscuit, and then all your coffees. So it'd be latte, cappuccino, and what's the other one? Mocha, 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 mocha. Right, somebody's saying, would they look lovely with the lilac blue? It'd be very dramatic, that's for sure. Look, you see, because that one there, I think, it's that beige. They call that one beige, I think, don't they? 
That goes beautifully, doesn't it, with it? So this one here, that's the lilac moon. That's for, uh, £5.95 half a metre. You get all of this bundle here, five, two, uh, uh, five half a metre pieces for two and a half metres for £15.95. And then, let me have a look at the DC. Okay, the, a third of this bundle's gone, so you're all right with this one, but I would check out with this one. But if you're putting your other fabrics in, nice. If you're putting your other fabrics in, you can always wait until 11 o'clock to check out those. That's nice, isn't it? This, this is called Golden Hour, this one. Canopy Golden. No, hang on. Is that Canopy? Yeah, yeah, Canopy Golden Hour. There you go. And then this is the bundle. They look nice together, don't they? If you love those soft, soft... Oh, do you know which other one was going to work? This one's going to work as well. Let's just take that one and that one out. Look at that look. If you love that very gentle, soft, soothing, that's nice, isn't it? This is Windswept Twilight, this one here. 5.95 half meter, and then this is your, your, your natural solid bundle along here. Oh, I've got a message from Christine. I'm just going to put this one with it, Christine. Uh, blue sky smiling at me, nothing but a screw size. That's it. Blue sky smiling. But, but what's the tune? What's the tune? Blue sky. Nothing but blue sky smiling at me. That one, yeah. This is nice, look. This is sweethearts. You see, look. They all work, don't they? They all work so beautiful. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies, do I see? Oh, it's stuck in my head now, Christine. Yes. Welcome to my world, Christine. Uh, don't they look lovely together? So that one there is the Sweetheart Azure range. Uh, from, blue, uh, from the Blue Sky range. And then, sorry, I'm sure that's where it's all come from. Blue Sky, Blue Sky, Blue Sky. And then that's the natural bundles. That looks lovely. So just one more. Just, oh, actually, I'll put them all with it so you can see all of them together. But. Oh, here we go. Not yet. Gerardine has got it. Morning, John. The song you're thinking of is called Mr. Blue Sky from ELO. That's it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, a Davinia. Let's have a look. Now, is Davinia's message going to come through? Because it didn't yesterday. It's random, you see. Some come through and some don't. Look at this before I look at Davinia's message, because that looks beautiful together, doesn't it? So you've got the... Uh, this isn't Sweetheart Azura. This is the Daisy one. Right, Davinia's message hasn't come through again, but just, what's it say? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hello, John and I. It was Davinia's birthday yesterday. Oh, hooray, she loves Munch. She adores Munch. She's a, he said, uh, she said, he's a star, I do miss him. Lots of loves and hugs, Davinia. Let him pass that on. Thank you, Davinia. Did you have a lovely birthday? I sent her a hamper. I sent her a, like, um, uh, Hamper <laughs> with things in it, shortbread, shortbread, and some really nice sparkly cordial and some, what else was in it, chocolates. You know, like a, like a little picnic hamper. Hamper. Um, Daisy Baltic fabric, they look lovely together, don't they? Really, really nice. Oh, oh. Look. Look, it's just stood up on its own, that one. Right, last one. Oh, no, hang on, not last one, not last one, because this is the very elegant one, isn't it? This is Bubbles. Oh, that's nice. That looks nice, doesn't it? I don't know what you're going to make out of it. don't know what you're going to make out of these, but look, that's nice together. That one's very, very subtle, isn't it? Maybe not put that one. I'll just take that one out. There, that's it, that's it. Obviously, you don't have to use all of them, with the fabric, do you know what I mean? You might keep them for different occasions. Just think they're absolutely exquisite. Right, I better just start sum up then, hadn't I?
there's more fabrics coming at, um, in the, I don't know the rest of the song, so I can't sing the rest of the song. At 11 o'clock, I've got more fabrics from this range, so I will bring these out. What I'm suggesting you're doing is if you like any of these, because we're all right for stock at the moment, because we've ordered lots of this. Um, if you're liking some of it, and you're a web buyer, put it in your basket, don't check out yet. Uh, uh, different, different if you're buying the bundles, you need to check out on those straight away. But if you um, don't check out yet, and then at 11 o'clock, I'll do more of the sister channel, uh, sister channel, sister fabrics. <laughs> I can go and leave if you want me to, Hannah. Hannah's suggesting I leave the company. I think that would be... Yes. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? Sister Fabrics coming up in the 11 o'clock. So bung the ones, bung. Put the ones you like. <laughs> Don't bung them anywhere. Put the ones you like in your basket. Then when I come to the 11 o'clock show, I'll have these. And I'll have, I think it's, is it nine new ones I've got in the 11 o'clock hour? I think it is, isn't it? Something like that. Get, t get Timothy to count. I, I can imagine. Ten. I've got ten new other new ones coming up in the eleven o'clock hour. Yeah. So if you if you um, put the ones you like from this hour in your basket, I'll have these on the desk with me in the eleven o'clock hour, so you can see all of the range, and then you can start checking out straight away. Then, can't you? Oh yeah. Which one's most popular? I can guess. This is the most popular. Yeah. This is the most popular. This is what we thought. We thought this one. This is number one favourite. Uh, Davinia says hello, Munch. She says, it's nice to see you, and she sends her love. Um, so this is the lilac at full moon. Nothing, there's no lilac in it. It's the, if you look, these are actual lilac blooms, aren't they? This is a nice way of having lilac in these. Uh, this is a nice way of having lilac in your house, isn't it? Because they said it's unlucky to actually cut it and put it in your house. And fresh lilac in your house, yeah. So that's the number one favourite at the moment. So that one can go there. Oh! Right. Windswept, I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, windswept has come second. It's coming second at the moment. Now you see, look at those two together. I wonder if the same people bought the lilac and the windswept. Is that on the? Is that on my fabric? Is it on my screen? That's no, on the screen. Oh, John, I sent my son a hamper for his birthday, but it was all about gin. You're not your. Oh no, because uh, little Paul's. Mum's called Babs, isn't she? Um, all about gin, that's a nice one. Uh, Davinia doesn't drink, that's why I didn't send her a gin one. Um, if you're going to send me one, mind you, I'm into cider at the moment. I've suddenly got, I went out, uh, the team in our village, I, uh, he's the chairman of our shop committee, and I'm on the shop committee, he took us all out for supper in the village pub. And, um, I, not you, Tim, no, no, a lot older than you. And um, we, uh, for some reason, I sat there and said, what do you want to drink? And it was a really balmy evening, we're sitting in the pub garden, and I went, oh, I'll have a cider. And then I thought, I haven't had a cider since I left Breton Hall College in 19... Uh, whatever year it was when I was 18. <laughs> in 19... When did I leave Breton Hall? 83. 19, no, 1981. 1981, I left Breton Hall College. So I haven't had cider since 1981. What's the number three? Number, number three. I'll be quiet. Oh. No, I like all, I like all of these. Oh, it's not Rusty Gate. Rustic Gate, not Rusty. Oh, well, I must have called it Rusty as well. It's Rustic Gate. That's number three. See, aren't they lovely? Don't they look gorgeous together? Lots of gentlemen buyers in today. Unless, unless, of course, the ladies have maxed their cards out and they're now using their husband's cards. Now, I've only got a couple of minutes left. Please, the lilac looks blue on our screen. No, no, Anne, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not lilac at all. It's not lilac at all. Let me show you. It's blue. It, the background is a lovely midnight blue. It's called lilac because these are lilac flowers, my love. Look. Oh, that sounded patronising. I didn't mean that sound patronising. Anne, my love, look. I'm sorry, again. These are lilac flowers. These are lilac blooms. So this 
background here is like a lovely, rich midnight blue. And then the print, there's no lilac, the, the color, there's no pale purple in there at all. There's only the gold, the beiges, and the, uh, all the different ranges between there. And then the lovely creams and ivories and the midnight blue. There's, there's no lilac color in there it's the print you see they're lilac flowers and then i think i don't know if they're lilac le no, they're the lilac leaves there and then these are ivy aren't they all or, or do you know what those are they look like these sweethearts don't they oh that's all right my pleasure Anne. my pleasure my pleasure right so oh sorry you didn't see the sweetheart one it's because i moved it because i didn't think it looked nice together um Oh, okay, whoever sent uh, the YouTube link through to Hannah, we don't know what it is, so we're not going to open it just in case, in case it's something about Hannah's private life. Golden Canopy, that's this one. This is, this is it, this is also, this was number four, that was the range of stream. Uh, Joe's up in three minutes' time. Oh, sorry, you have to do it like that. So, uh, Joe's up in three minutes' time. She's doing, oh, now they've called it a tote bag. It's way more than a tote bag. It's the most beautiful um, uh, kind of craft bag with uh, pockets in and everything like that. Don't go anywhere because she'll be here in three minutes' time from now. We will see you with Joe's tote bag right then. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at The Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products, excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Tune in on Thursday the 22nd of June when talented dressmaker Jennifer Taylor will be dropping in to share with us her sewing secrets. Jennifer's debut book, Girl with a Sewing Machine, is packed with tips, guides, inspiration on all things sewing. Following a successful launch last month, Jennifer returns to give Sewing Quarter viewers an exclusive look at her favourite projects from the book and plenty of advice on how to get more from your sewing machine. We'll also be giving you the chance to get your hands on a signed copy. So join us and the girl with the sewing machine for a fun-filled technique tuning hour on Thursday the 22nd of June at 8am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Oh my word, 
Sorry, I was just having a bit of an apple there and I couldn't swallow it. When I said more than a tote bag, I wasn't joking, was I? Isn't it lovely? This is one made out of Tanya Whelan fabric. But look at, look at the detail. Look at all of that detail going on in there. It's fantastic. Now, what Joe's going to do is Joe's going to show you techniques from the bag. Because obviously, there's way too much going on there to make the whole bag in an hour. So Joe will show us... Oh, hang on a minute. She just has to get a bit quicker. I'll just lose the threads from inside. It's all right, Joe. I'll sort it out. Um, I'm only joking. We're friends. Don't worry. Uh, we've done four bundles for you. Four gorgeous bundles for you. What, what I'm going to do is I'll go quickly through... <laughs> I'll go quickly through the bundles, and then I'll come back and show you them later on during the hour, because they are exquisite. Now, the thing is, you don't have to make... You don't have to make the bag out if you don't want to, but wait till you see what you... First of all, everybody gets one of these, a premium polyester. I've put it there because it's just nice there, and everybody likes to watch it to see if it, if it brings the cup off the... Right. Look at how much stuff you get in each of these bundles. Now, I know you're thinking, £53.95, £53.95. You get so much in this... Um, bundle you won't believe so you get the pattern which i'll take you through in a minute when we go over to the main desk you also get two lots of iron-on interfacing you get a reel of thread but then the bit that you all love this is what you get in here so you get a meter of this the tanya wheeler ticking you get a meter of the tanya wheel and roses and they're, they're called frames, I think, that one. Then you get half a metre of the spot-on pink. I think that's candy. And then half a metre of the candy floss in the still. So it's a metre, a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Have a look at it on the still there when I move on to the next one. So that's the, tar the yellow tote bag. Uh, the next... Uh, the thing is, I don't think it should be called tote bag, really, because, like I said, it's way more... Way more than a tote bag. Do you know what that blue bottle's doing? He's being a bit naughty. And every time the camera cuts off, he whizzes across the set. Have you seen him? Yeah. He's just gone back to see Hannah, I think. Trevor. Uh, so then, uh, with, now which one do you want to do next? Uh, this one, the, the, which is the... Um, yes, I've got that one. The, the mandal, uh, mandala fabric, yeah. That's the distant dreams. Um, again, you get the pattern. You get the two metres of iron-on interfacing. You get the thread. Now, on this one, your two pattern fabrics, one is the mandala fabric here, so you get a metre of that, and the other one is the linear texture in azalea. I'm right in saying that, aren't I? Yeah, so those two are the equivalent of your two pattern ones there, and then your two other fabrics here are the very, very... Is it dark blue? Navy, very dark navy there. And the, the really, a, a fuchsia pink here. So you get half a metre, one metre, one metre, half a metre. And everything else. They all have different prices because they've all got different, because the first one had two lots of designer fabric in. Right, okay, so that's that one. Then I've got two, which are the Tilda Circus, aren't they? Uh, now I've got, which one do you want to do first? Green, that's this one. Okay, right, so this is, this is, again, you get the pattern, the interfacing, the thread. It's everything you need, really. And, and you remember, you get the, the wadding in there as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, but you also get... Then you get um, a metre of the... T is this Tilda Circus, this one? Right, this is Rose Green. I should, I should know a girl called Rose Green. Yeah. And then you get this one as well, a metre of this one. Clown flower, there's nothing clowny about. I'll show you these in detail later. It's a flower. And then you get half a metre of these. I'm presuming this is uh, baby pink and vanilla. Just checking. Yep. Oh, it's ivory. Okay, it's ivory and baby pink. Okay, there's the kit for that one. That's the Tilda Circus Rose. Oh, right. That these Hilda ones are limited, just so you know. $59.95. <coughs> the, uh, uh, the rose, you're having to go with the... Oh, sorry, it's gone now. OK, and then this is the last one. Oh, dear. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's because I had some apple in the break. <coughs> I'll be fine. 
<coughs> when Joe gets talk, gets talking, I'll have a glass of water. So in the last one, last but not least, you've got the Tilda Circus Rose Blue. Oh, I see. So that one was rose, and this is rose blue, because obviously you've got the blue rose fabric there. Then you've got that really lovely um, clown flower fabric there, which is in the red. And then you get half a metre of each of these, which is the ivory and the baby pink. I'll go, I will go through them all properly with you in a little while. I just want to, because we can't, you, if you're on the web, you see, you can't buy anything until I've gone through it with you. Are you showing the still of that one? There we go. So. No, no, I'll let Joe get started. I'm, in fact, I'm fine now, thank you, it's fine. Right, um, this looks fantastic. It looks like it's from one of those really expensive boutique stores where you'd pay a lot more than 60 pounds for it. But it looks like there's an awful lot of work involved. When I saw the pattern, I thought, oh no, this is going to take me ages. And actually, it, because it looks complicated, yes. um, especially with all those pleated pockets. And actually, once I got started, the instructions are great, because I'm not a dressmaker either, so I don't often, sometimes seeing instructions like this makes me feel a bit... Queasy. But, yes. But they're great, really easy to follow, and actually it's not as difficult as it looks at all. My first question is, I've left all the packets over there, have you got your packet here? Are there mm -hmm. varieties of bags that I can make out of this, out of this kit? There are three versions. So, let's see what... Okay, lunch is getting one for us, that's fine. Oh, there it is, you've got it. Okay, that's the... Uh... So the three... So, so they've got three different bags, you've got three different bags here. Uh, so which one have you made then? I've made the one you can have so that the top isn't open. There's like a drawstring. That's that one. That's C, the drawstringy one. Yes, I've made A. A, and then I wonder what B is then. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. There's the, oh, the other two have got the drawstring inside, so, but that one must have. What have you written on there? I'll put that over there. <laughs> I think they're different sizes, are they? Let me. Just, I'll just double check. Oh, I've got, I've got all the details on this one, that's funny. Right, so, so A is the one without the drawstring, and it, the, the finished size is 13 inch width, 10 and a half inch height, and four and a half inch depth. Then B is exactly the same size, but with the drawstring inside. But then C, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't know, what's the difference between that one and that one? I don't know whether it just has different fabrics. Oh, yes, it's, it's, I tell you, it's laid the fabrics out differently. So it's got a different layout. There must be something else different to it, surely. I'll find out, I'll find out. Now, the, you need to say something about when you're cutting this out. There's enough fabric to make the bag, but if you... With these, you get more of the... Yeah, you get, so designer. you get a metre of this, and you get a metre of this, you get half a metre of that, and you get half a metre of that, right? Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, you didn't say it. Metre, metre, half metre, half metre, but... Because I had a metre of this, I used that to line the inside of the pockets. Oh, OK. On the pattern, what does it say to you line it, for you to line it with? One of these fabrics? With the same fabric. OK. But, but so, so basically, you can make this bag however you want. As you can see, Joe inside here has got the pockets there made out of the Tanya Wheel and Ticking fabric, and she's got the pockets here lined with the framed rose fabric rather than the ticking because she had enough of that fabric. There wouldn't have been enough of the spot or the lining to, to line the inside of there. Yes, yeah. it's, quite, it's two quite large pieces to line the pocket. Right, OK. But there's, there's plenty of fabric to make the whole there is, bag. There is plenty Just of fabric. Just watch which bits you use to cut it all out to be... Lay all your pieces out to begin with so you can see what's going to come from where. Brilliant. Right, OK, so where do we start? We start, first of all, the cutting out. And there's quite a lot to cut out. There's the fabric and interfacing and also and wadding. wadding. Now, some pieces, these ones, the exterior, the main body of the bag, the exterior has, this is this section. So we're just what, concentrating on this bit here, then? Sorry. The bit, this bit oh, behind bit the there. pockets. OK. So behind there yeah. as well. Interface, cut the fabric out, cut a piece of interfacing out the same size, press that on. Fuse it. And Do you need then, to look at this? Sorry, just, uh, it's just glaring the camera a bit, that's all. It's, I'm hoping. I'll put it, I'll put I'm it here so you can, can remember. I've slept, unfortunately, so you can since I made this at bag. It. Yeah. So put the interfacing on and then add a layer of batting, of wadding as well. So it's got the interfacing and the wadding yes. on both of them? 
on both of them and on the bottom piece as well, which is, I think it's piece two. Oh, of course, because that's each side, isn't it? That's not, like, you've not, like, that's not the lining. This is the outside bit there. Yes, yeah. just Sorry. to give it that extra strength and body. So these pieces, one and two, I think they are, um, interface and then wadding on top. And what's that, what's that bit there, then, you've got cut out there? This that's the bottom. The bottom of the bag. So these close up and that forms... The squared off bottom here. So there's the seam between the two, and there's the squared off bottom there. And then there's another seam. Oh, I see. So it lips, wraps around it a does, little it, bit, it yes. It does that. Fits okay. along the bottom of the bag. Okay. So to fix this on, I just placed it on. You can give it a little bit of a pin, and then with the widest stitch, widest straight stitch on the machine, I just okay. stitch Tax around the side. We'll so do I'll that do that now. and then I'll trim, trim the excess. Okay. With the rotary cutter and the ruler or with scissors? Just with scissors. Good. <laughs> we haven't got a rotary cutter and ruler. <laughs> uh, right, Hannah's just, while you're stitching that, Hannah's just saying she's having a look at the different bags. One, uh, well, I don't, I don't uh, yeah, I'm sorry until we discussed this on there. B and C, uh, all, look, the only difference looks is they've got a different fabric on the bottom here, but as it's a separate unit anyway, it's exactly the same skill. But I can't see anything any other way. That's, that's the only thing I can see. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Let me look at the pattern. Let me look at the instructions while Joe's stitching that up. You can hand stitch that. You just top stitch it. With a, uh, not top, so you just always yep. based with a machine, don't you? Oh, pff. get the first one. I was asked to, I was asked to read this one. Um, this is all in Spanish, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fluent in Spanish, oh, so are you? yeah, so it was no problem. No, there are English instructions as well. I'm just looking why sewing instructions for A, B, and C. Oh, we've got an email from Emma. Hello, Emma, my love. Uh, she said it's perfect. She'll be looking for the perfect bag to take to her classes. Do you know what? The thing is, right, use it for your classes when you're at home. When you go on holiday, wouldn't this make the most brilliant beach bag? Because you could put, like, your tissues, your suntan cream, your sunglasses. Uh, I, put your I put my phone inside. Phone, bottle of water, everything, swimsuit. Yoga mat, uh, mosquito spray. <laughs> don't have to have that where I go, but do you know what I mean? It's like, we be brilliant. Do you know what else? I always go on about this, though. When I used to work on films and TV, right, the makeup girls, because obviously once you've got everybody ready in the morning, you then stay on set and you do your checks and everything. The makeup girls' bags used to be like that, and they had the hairbrushes, the makeup brushes, and everything would be all... So they could go, oh, Mr. Suchet needs his... You know, and they'd run in, and they'd go, oh, like this. You've seen them sometimes on the... Um, we, we used to have them here before we um, got rid of them, yes. Don't, well, how can you improve on, on perfection, <laughs> hey, Joe? Uh, I'm just seeing what... Oh, all right, they're saying there's not a bag big enough to do me. <laughs> I really can't see. No, because you cut exactly the same pieces out for the three bags, except that you do the drawstring for B and C, and the bottom of C... It's j just a different colour. Right. So they, oh, sorry, you're showing the front. They, front these pieces. Back. Sorry, Joe. Oh, you want me to? You want me to? Sorry, I thought, here's, I thought you said here's the front. I don't know you can even see on the front, that one. You see, to me, the, big, the C looks even bigger. And the, the, the one at the bottom looks even bigger, but it's just... Just a bigger picture. That's... Anyway, 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 let's get on. Sorry, Joe. OK, so they've yes. been interfaced and had the batting, the wadding applied as well. So they're ready to go. And then it's the next step is to do the strap. Right. And I did, I realised I should probably have one already made. So it was quite hastily done. So I have a pre-prepared one, but just in case and this camera pitches up, p picks up my slightly wobbly stitching. Oh, uh, what's she going on about? You've <laughs> got a pink one already made, a different pink one already made, haven't you? No, no, I've got this one. Oh, yeah, I've got one already made. Oh, well Already made, but it's a little bit... Right, can I just say how brilliant Joe is, right? Because 
She made this one yesterday for us, and then she part made another one in the yellow, right? But there wasn't enough fabric, so she let the sedging team know. The sedging team turned up this morning, supposedly with the extra bit of yellow and pink, and they turned up with a kit of completely different colours. So Joe had to start all over again when she arrived at six o'clock this morning to do all these um, preppy bits for you. I know I shouldn't tell you what goes on behind the screens, <laughs> but I do. I've got four dogs, so I'll make two of them, uh, and as they will make brilliant grooming bags for the dog's brushes. They will indeed, wouldn't they? They will. Right, so I'll put the strap I've already done to one side. I'm reading on my, I'm reading on my tablet here, just so you know. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Well, I think that anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's Anne in Surrey. That's posh Anne in Surrey. Right, on, off you go with the straps. OK, so it's one long piece. Um, if you cut the interfacing from the longest side of the interfacing that's supplied, it's slightly too short. Oh. But only by a, a, only by a tiny bit. So I've not bothered fixing another piece. So on. how long is that then? That's just over a metre then, is it, that strap? I think it must be. Because Should these we bits the as well end up in the seam and are yes, exactly. sort of behind yeah. those pockets. I didn't. Yes, you see, look, the strap is 102 centimetres in length and our interfacing is a metre. So you've got a centimetre at each end. But that'll go into the, into the seam. It goes into the seam, yeah. yes, so it will actually. It's probably better to have a bit of. It's done on purpose, Joe, wasn't it? It wasn't a mistake. Absolutely. Yeah. So there we go. I've applied interfacing to the wrong side and then, and this is all marked on the pattern piece, yep. pressed over either side, so I've run out of words. Sorry, <laughs> if, you need, if you need help, just look up and I'll help you. Okay. So pressed over these sides and then pressed it in half yep. along the length like that. And now I'm going to stitch close to the edge. Yes. On either side to seal it and then add some more. You're getting a bit stitch. hysterical. <laughs> have you eaten? Did you have anything to eat? I did. Maybe that was the problem. I think yeah. I ate a bit too much. Did you have a banana, did you? I, I used had... to have a banana for my breakfast and I read the no good because it gives you a sugar rush and then you oh, have a. It? Then you crash. I thought all sorts of bananas were good for food like that, but. So this is the pattern piece and it tells you to do. Oh, even where the top stitching lines are? Yes, even. So it's really handy for that, but stitch close to the edge first, which I'll do on either yeah. side and then. Your machine stitches okay like this one i oh, see so you're gonna make a second one yes brilliant well i might not do all the machine stitches because uh, all the stitch lines it'll okay. take a while um i'm not so oh i'm so not posh she says and in sorry you do make me style every time smile every time i watch you you two are my favorites oh that's nice um oh i thought you'd be posh in sorry escape to the country was in sorry this week did you see it oh no no was it escape to the country no, it wasn't Escape to the Country. It was when I was on the treadmill at the gym. So that would have been... Um, what's that thing where they either choose a house in England or, the, or in Britain or the... No, home and away. No, home or away. And they, but this couple were home and away because they wanted a house here and a house. They weren't so not posh. But they wanted a house here and a house in Portugal. Or, no, France. France, 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 France. I only watched it because I was on the treadmill. Don't watch it. No, that's not, that does not go on my Sky Plus. And I'm a bit annoyed with Jeremy Kyle, because it's all, I've got Jeremy Kyle on my Sky Plus link thing, right? Oh. They're all old ones. And it's really sad, because it only has to start, and I go, oh, I've seen this one. I know within the first 20 seconds if I've seen it before. And because I video it every day, I've seen them all. So I shall be texting in. Jeremy Kyle's a show in the mornings, Joe, I, I, where people ring in, I'm not ringing, no, go on with their problems. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Why, oh why, if you've got a problem, would you want the whole world to know about it? Do you know what I mean? Like embarrassing bodies where the oh, two... Oh, don't understand that ...shy to go to the doctors, but... <laughs> the whole of the country is fine. I know. They, they won't go and tell any show their closest friend that they've got it, but they'll go in a caravan and show a doctor on a television camera. Just... Because you've seen me outside. Oh, I, no, I haven't been in. I haven't been in. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Christian, I've got this problem. Oh, don't, don't start me on Dr. Christian. Bad. Oh. You know that some people like, well, I can't say names, because there's actresses that I just think, or actors, or people in real life, like, I'm, I've never met them, and you just go, I don't like them, don't like them. I've never met Dr. Christian. I've just never met Dr. Christian. So. Iron? No, I, um, no. I forgot to change the stitch length. Well, I thought I had changed the stitch length, so I've got a slightly wide one that side. And a, oh, OK. But... You're doing ever so well today, <laughs> aren't you? 
not going very well, is it? Probably. James, she's in for three days on the road, so watch this. It could get, this is day <laughs> one of three. So uh, Hannah's asking why you're doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five lines of stitching. It just gives it more stability, more structure, um, makes a sturdier strap, really. But also it adds a nice bit of detail. Yes. But I realise this is not the most thrilling thing to watch, so I'll stop after this. No, and also the pattern told you to as well. Um, the thing is, in your kit, you get, in this kit, are they white or pale pink, those threads over there? They're too far away for me to see. Um, I, would, I would do it in a matching, a matching thread, the top stitching, wouldn't you? If you're not confident about getting the stitch lines... Yeah, I'd do it in, a, in the matching thread. Yeah. No, 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 that's what I mean. So if you've got a matching thread in your, in your kit, then you can use that, can't you? Um, are you just doing the three, then? Uh, do, do you want me to do them all? No, it's, no, it's, it's quite fine. noisy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I have one already. We won't get to putting the straps on anyway at this rate, so it's well, fine. <laughs> oh, what, what? I'll speed up. No, bit. I wasn't picking on you. I promise. No, but you've, you've got a point. Right, OK, so you've made your two straps and you've got your two side panel, two front panels. And then the straps go on at this point. Oh, they go on now? Oh, right, OK. They're fixed on, but the pattern piece is this one i hope yeah it shows exactly where the straps are fixed so that one goes yep, there oh i see like that oh they go right the way down to the bottom then oh yes they do so if you've done a bit of wobbly stitching towards the end of the strap no you'll see it what happens if you've done wobbly stitch in the middle well that's more of an issue makes it personalized if it's got it, wobbly it stitching so okay so you place you strap exactly where it says on the uh, pattern and then pin them in place. Now these pins down here, I put them this way because I leave the straps. You could base the ends, actually, it'd probably be more sensible to base the ends so they're then held straight down. And they oh, do you not stitch all the way down then? No, uh, this is the point where, I'll get this pattern piece. It shows you where to stitch a, a box um, across, oh. across it to... Uh, Oh, because the box is seen. The box of stitching is... Oh, sorry, I'll let you, Joe do that first. So you see, the box is stitched there. So even though the strap I don't know if it goes right the way down into the bag, it's actually stitched there. But you should baste it at the bottom, otherwise, because that bit, you have basted this one, could come flapping back up again, couldn't it? It'll be held in the seam later on. Oh, yes, yeah, so it is, yeah. So it will be fixed in place, oh, yeah, but actually, so I left yeah. pins in, and then once the pockets were on, I just put my hands in and pulled the pins out. But oh, okay. actually, basting it in would be great, because you get rid of the pins yeah. early on. Because you don't want to root in the pocket and realise you haven't taken a pin out and yeah. find it that way. It's a really good pattern, though, that it's got the actual... It could just say measure out from the centre by so many inches, but it's actually got on the pattern where exactly you have to um, It's quite reassuring, it. I think, when patterns... Well, as you say, you're not them. used to using other people's patterns, either. You're used to using your own yes. animal patterns. Now, see, so you've pinned those differently. So I've pinned those. I have done. I, <laughs> I've just decided <laughs> to be really awkward today. And then, you could never be awkward. <laughs> and then using this, I'm popping pins in level with the top of this where it marks to stitch this box, just yeah. as a guide for me. OK. And then following these lines, I'm going to stitch a box and then across, across it, okay. just to reinforce those stitches. So that's at the bottom. You see, it's funny, isn't it? That, oh, I suppose the box reinforces it doesn't come away from the bag. I was going to say, because I think I'd be... I'd tend to... I would be... follow the lines you've already done, but obviously putting the box there reinforces it more. Uh, the fabrics that Joe's using for the blue tote bag are going across the bottom, 45 pounds or 45 pence. And that one's the most popular, isn't it? The blue one, and then the yellow one, which is the one Joe's already made, almost level pegging. These two are almost level pegging. We need to get the um, tilde ones more flagged up then, don't we? I'll go in a minute, I'll go in a minute. When Joe, Joe's finished the handles, I'll go across. I just don't want you to miss anything, that's it, you see. When, when um, I go over to show you the fabrics, I want you to miss anything. What is going on I today? I don't know what happened in this. The pin cushion's just gone on the floor. The pattern piece has just gone on the floor. 
And Helen's what? Oh, no, Helen, they've gone to work now, haven't they? So I've gone over, I've stitched a box, but I'm re-stitching over the top line. Why is that? And the bottom one, just so I can form the cross and I don't, in one oh, continual go. Oh, I see what you mean, go. yes, yes, yes. So, so you can so keep the, doing it all in one go. Yes, I and mean, so the bottom matches the top. I'll go back over the bottom one. And I would normally be, with the needle, thread these threads through to the other side, but I'm going to clip them away because, for right. the sake of time. But there is the strap fixed on in place there, and I'm going right. to base, base across, across the bottom. The bottom. Are you going to do this one, this strap as well? Yes. Oh, actually, that would be a good time. Just base that one. We'll see you basting that one. Okay. Then I can do, do the fabric. Because then at home, you won't miss anything then. So let me just explain what Jo's okay. done. She's um, put the cross, reinforced cross here, at the, where it says to do it on the pattern. And then you follow my finger down. Well done. She's just basted it across the bottom there. That will go into a seam allowance in a little while, but... but so that the, so the strap is completely fixed now. Uh, while I go and show you the other fabrics, Joe's just going to do the same on that side, aren't you? Yes. So you're not missing anything at all. Okay. Are there, is everything? Oh yes. Are you see, oh, good old munch. Everything's back. Right. This this is the bundle that Joe's already made out of the Tanya Wheel and Yellow bundle. So you get a meter of the ticking fabric. There's the still. So you get a metre of the ticking fabric. You get a metre of the framed roses fabric. You get half a metre of the candy spot. And you get half a metre of the candy floss lining. You get the thread. Oh, this thread's a biscuit coloured thread there. You get the pattern. You get the two interfacings, two packets of two metres of interfacing, and the wadding. So that's the yellow one. That's the yellow one. Then the one that Joe... Joe's actually using, which is just a li little bit in the lead now from the Tanya Whelan one. Um, that's this one here. So you get a metre of the mandala. I love this fabric, the mandala fabric. You get a metre of the linear effect azalea. Then you get half a metre of navy blue and half a metre of fuchsia. You get the pattern. You get thread. You get white threaded, that one. You get interfacing. And... Oh, there's the picture. You get the wadding for £45.45. And 45 pence. Now, these two, you haven't seen these two properly. So, and these are more limited, but they're also... Um, you haven't seen them properly, so I'm going to take them out. Even though they're beautifully presented, I'm going to take them out so you can see these. So you get a metre... This is the green. This is the rose green one, this one. You get a metre of each of these um, Tilda fabrics. They're lovely, aren't they? Look. So you get a metre of this... This is just called Tilda Circus Rose, but it's actually the green one. So you get a metre of this, and you get a metre of that. They're going to look beautiful together, aren't they? Then you also get half a metre of ivory and half a metre of baby pink. Here's the kit there. Uh, you get the wadding, the pattern, the thread, uh, and the uh, interfacing, all in there for 59 95 And then last but not least, I thought this one would have been a favourite, I have to say. Okay, this is down to single figures already. This one's down to single figures already. That's beautiful. So you get a metre of that. This is the um, uh, Tilda Circus Rose Blue. Then you also get a metre of this, which is the Clown Flower, which apparently is its real name. Is it a Clown Rose or a Clown Flower? I'll have to, I'll have to look that one up. Okay, so that's that. So you get a metre of each of those. OK, and then you get a metre of the pink, the baby pink, a metre of the ivory. Oh, they gone, they're still. Thread, pattern, interfacing and wadding. You get all of that for £59.95. Please be careful of that last one because we're down to single figures on the blue tilde one. The blue tilde one. I'm pointing at my, 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 uh, my tablet here because apparently there's a message coming through. Yeah, OK, right. Uh, you carry on with... What's the next stage? So you put both straps on, so the... Oh, yes. Like that. I'll <laughs> pretend I've put this on. Yeah, I'll pretend on that one. And then join these sections together along the sides. Right. And then pop this bit to one side, then. 
and it's half an inch. Oh, oh yes, that. because the pocket goes on. I was thinking you put the pockets on before you sew it together, but you don't, do you? You don't, and I thought when I started making this, I thought, oh, they have to be exactly the same size. What if you've been too generous with one seam allowance and not enough with another? And, but actually, because they're pleated, and the way, you, yeah, the way you fit them on, it's really easy. Heather says, on. morning, lovely people. I love this bag. I'm trying to send a picture. What is the email address, please? Heather, it's studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. We look forward to getting your, your picture. Anyone can send pictures in of anything they made. Please send them in. If we can, we'll show them. So, are you saying both side seams up? Yes, to make to complete it in a loop. And then is it the bottom next? Then do you put the bottom on next, or do you put the pockets on next? The pockets are the next okay. job. Sandra asked, "How many bags you can make out of the bundle that we're bringing you of the three meters? How many bags do you think you could get out of it? One, just one." But you've got fabric left over. You would have fabric left over, but not enough to make a second bag. There you go. So that's uh, Sandra. It's one bag with fabric left over. It's not enough to make two in there. But once you've got the pattern, you could use fabrics from your stash, couldn't you? And you could easily make coordinating sunglasses, cases and things to go with it. So there's enough left to make accessories. There is. <clears throat> well, that'd be good if you use it as... Um, or need a, a, a thing to put your needles in. Like a little yes. needle book would be good. Pin cushion would be good if you're going to use it as a sewing book. It would. Uh, and then if you've made it for somebody as a gift, each time uh, you make them next gift, you could make them, you know, like a pin cushion or a glasses case or a, a, a needle case, anything like that, the same fabrics. Right, sorry. So give that a little press, then pop it to one side. Oh, you, you do press that then, do you? Only a light and warm. I'm, I'm not going to do okay. that. Okay. Are you right. doing any ironing in this show? Yes, I'm about okay. to do some. It's on ready for you. Quite. So the next thing is the box pleated pocket around the bottom, is it? It is. Which is this here, with your sections in, with your box pleats. These are box pleats in here. And then you've got to do that to give it extra depth. So if you've got anything bigger to put in there, it fits in, you see. Right, well, that, um, Hannah's never done a box pleat before, so I'll be quiet and I'll let you show you how to do box pleats. <clears throat> right, the front of the pocket is interfaced. And it, that helps when pressing it as well, just to keep some structure into the pockets. I'd say, so you've got two fronts there. The two fronts, yeah. one for either side. Oh, so yes. these are the pieces. This is why. Um, this is the back of the pocket, so it does take up quite a lot of fabric. Right, yes. The back of the pocket. So these are those pieces. Okay. Um, now you sew together. So they're fully lined then. The pockets are fully lined. They are. I'll put one to one side okay. and just focus on one for a minute. Yeah, let's just, yeah. So you've got about 20 minutes to finish what you've got to show, just so you know. Right, OK. The no, I don't want to rush you, I'm just saying 20 minutes. I'll try and get to everything. It's Even if I don't get quite as far as fixing it to this section, yeah. you get a good idea of how it goes together. So these are sewn, stitched together along the top. I'll just pin them. Just the top? Just the top edge of both. And then this will fold around and because the back is slightly longer it forms that sort of oh i didn't binding. even notice that yes because you, right so if you see the top here if this is where it's good to use a, a, a contrasting fabric because this here is the second fabric so this is the ticking but this actually here you can't see it on there is the rose in frames fabric going across there so on the one we're doing now it'll be more obvious <clears throat> Will you need the iron out after this? Is that what you're going to press that across or not? Um, yes, you press it towards the pocket side. Yeah, yeah, I'll, so get, yes, I'll get all that out ready for you soon. Just trying to make sure. I have a bit of tape on my machine to let me know the half inch seam allowance. So I'll try and take. Isn't there, isn't there a nodge on the. Um... I think, I, I, I hope I've lined it up with the correct one. Although I've been using my machine for quite a while and it was my son that pointed out I had a thread cutter on the side. Oh no! <laughs> I never knew. 
Your seven-year-old son. No, almost ten-year-old. <coughs> so it's ten not old. as bad, is it? Yeah. <laughs> How does he know it was a thread cutter, then? Well, he does sewing club. Oh, OK. And so he said, I think that there's your thread cutter. And what's he, ma what's he making um, in sewing club? What kind of things do he make in sewing club? They're just practising various techniques at the minute. So they've done bookmarks to start off and little pocket pouches and things. Oh. And you're paying for him to go on that when you could just teach him at home? Um, it's put on by the school. Oh! Yeah. That's good. I'm making some costumes for the play, so... Oh, are you? Yeah, so... What play are they doing? Annie. Oh, really? Mm. Is he in it? He's doing sound. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> His singing's about as good as mine, then. He's <clears throat> not massively outgoing. He's not oh. a big... Uh, so then I'm going to press this towards the pocket front. Okay. It's all switched on for you. Now I need to do the, this again with the other side of the pockets because they're dealt with in as a whole piece. Oh, OK. So e you're making each side individually, but they get joined together to be made one long... Well, they get joined together in a... In a hoop. In a hoop. Loop. I've done that one just ready to go. I won't pin this one <coughs> just for time. <laughs> I take a risk. So, in in effect, so far, all we've really had to do is, is stitch. If you're if you're a sewing and you at sewing, it's only been straight lines so far, hasn't it? It has. It's really not. I suppose the most difficult piece. It does make a difference. There's um, edge. The stitching around the top of the bottom, if that makes sense. Yeah. Just veg stitching. That's possibly one of the trickiest bits, only because for manoeuvring it around the machine, it's not a difficult make. Yeah. That's the line Joe's talking about there, where the, this is the bottom. That's the top of the bottom. Stitches onto the main bag. And I noticed everything's wadded. Even the pockets yes. inside are wadded, aren't they? I mean, if wadded. you didn't want to use the... Wadding, you could use the regular interfacing for the inside pockets. I suppose it depends what you're going to use it for. If you're going to put something, um, oh, do you know what? Make a lovely picnic bag, and they could be your six wine glasses in there. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, or six for yourself. You want to try different wines, or six bottles of cider, raspberry flavour, elderflower and lime flavour. Okay. Oh, I don't. And, and JJ, our friend JJ said to me, oh, have you tried... I said, oh, I've had a glass of cider. And he went, oh, have you tried the fruity ones? So I bought some fruity ones. And they're a bit like drinking perfume. Not that I've ever drunk perfume, but they're kind of... They don't taste like cider. They just taste like fragrance. Do you know what I mean? The they do. The raspberry one's delicious. Not that I'm condoning drinking at 20 to 11 on a Saturday morning. Yeah, somewhere in the world it's sundown, isn't it? I wonder how the rugby's getting on. And then these join together along either side. So I'll just pin them in the centre so they line up. But it is, it's all straight lines so yeah. far. So, um... Oh, no. Uh, why didn't they cut it out of... Why do they need a seam at the end there? At these... Why did it need a seam there? Was the fabric not wide enough to cut it right the way across the fabric? Was it too big? I'll it's too big, I think. Oh, too big, OK. Uh, but also, these pockets, these... Sorry, I don't know, these side pockets, if it was done in one panel fixed on there instead of a loop like that, you get smaller pockets at the side or a chunky seam. Oh, with all OK. The edge. All so right, actually, then. either side as well, you've got a whole pocket. Yeah. Right, I need to show you the still of the blue tilde one because it's very, very, very limited now. There you go. So that's the blue uh, tilde. It's not called blue, is it? It's just... Uh, Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That one, it is called blue. Tilda Circus Rose Blue, £59.95. and pence. That's very, very limited, that. Uh, so, remember, you get a metre of the blue, a metre of the clown flower, and half a metre of the baby pink and half a metre of the ivory. 
So that's 59.95. Just checking. So there's a couple left of those. A couple left of those. And then are we going to put the other tilde one in? Let's have a look at the other tilde one quickly. That one, now that one's just called tilde. Oh, I've got it here. Tilde Circus Rose. It's called Rose Green on here. And you get a... a oh, we're on single figures of that one now as well. So you get a metre of the two tilde patterns, half metre of the pink, half metre of the ivory. Right, now, if you've got that in your basket, I'm not shouting, I'm not bullying, I'm just telling, check it out, because there's no guarantee. Once it, it, well, it's not yours until you've checked out. Until you've checked out, it's not yours. Right, let's get back to this bit then. Right, I've only seen them down one side first because I didn't put the, mar the markings on before. I like to put them on at this point. Right. You can mark all these fold lines and stitch lines earlier, but I like to have them once the seams are in place. Okay. So I've lined up the stitching line there with that seam. And then just going to mark. Now you can use chalk or pins, or I love water erasable pens. I use yeah. them for everything. So. Mark or tailor tax if you're Janice. I've never used tailor tax. She uses no, no, it comes dressmaking background rather than a soft toy making. Yeah. So, so that's half, that's only half of, at the end here, it's only half a box pleat, isn't it? It is. So when you stitch it in place, you actually stitch along a seam. Yeah. And do that along okay. the bottom. And then along the other side. So you're just marking in, basically, the, mid, the dotted line is the middle of the box pleat. And then these are the two fold lines that go to the middle of the box pleat, aren't they? They are. Okay. I, bo I love box pleats because you can use box pleats in skirts, you can use them in cushions, you can use them in, um, I don't know why I'm pointing, curtains. <laughs> You can use them in a box piece, and it's, it's a lovely way of giving... If, you, if you're making a blouse and you just want a bit of ease, if you're down your centre-back seam, if you make a box pleat down the centre-back seam and catch it at the top of the bottom, when you're just wearing it normally, it just looks like there's a fold at the back. And then when you stretch like that, you've got that extra amount of fabric just to give you a bit of ease like that. And then when it falls back into shape... Oh, if you're going to, oh, oh, I need to get those prawns out of the freezer, or I need to get that out of the Christmas tree down, or something like that. That's why you'd stretch. Well, I don't have prawns. Norman and Ellie used to have them, but I heard that they weren't good for them. I think they've... Oh, one Hannah. Hannah likes prawns as well. There we go. Mark right. those on. Top and bottom. Have you, have you marked the bottom? Oh, yeah. So oh. remove that. And I'm going to sew this side up so it's Oh, I see. So you mark it up and then you stitch it into a hoop straight away. And I also press these seams open because it makes them easier to handle later when you're fix doing the box pleats and fixing it in place. You see, I'd be tempted to put the box pleats in now, apart from the last one. They... I mean, I know you're following the pattern, so I'm not well, saying I'm yours is wrong. Well, I know I'm I'm following the pattern. Hmm? I'm, I'm pretty sure this was... <laughs> no, 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 but, but if you think about it, you're going to make it to loop now. If you'd put all those pleats in, they're all pinned into place, then all you've got to do is stitch that one up, and then the last... Then you've only got one pleat to do after that. While it, Maybe so that you can would be an easy way of doing it. Still doing it on the flat. So, mm. so when Instead you're... Of in I, 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 you, not showing you what to do, but if you, if you kind of put your box pleats in, you see... It would be easier to press it. You see, so then you could press your box pleats in or pin them in, or if you want to, tack them in so that it's still a flat piece of fabric and you're doing all of your pleats while it's on the flat. Then you don't do the last one at the end here. You then stitch your seam and then you've only got one pleat to do when it's in a... Because otherwise, when, you, when it's in a, in a, um, a loop, like... You, uh, turn me from um, this, interruption. I'm, just, I'm wondering whether this is the way it's been done because once it's in a loop, it's then folded and these edges are brought together and this is the point when the loop oh, okay. is in and whether, oh, whether joining bending there over there be might, too yes, chunky. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Because it's quite a big piece though, it's not too fiddly to put the pleats in whilst it's a loop. Right, seven, you've got seven minutes um, left. Ooh. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping now that I read the pattern correctly. No, 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 you must really do because I was probably an integral flaw 
into my thoughts of it. Do you know, I've just noticed we've got a camera there. I've never noticed that oh. camera before. Has it always been there? That, that camera there. It's always been there. Has it? Yeah. It's never, do you not use it then? <laughs> Go on then. Oh, oh. It's a waste of a camera, isn't it? Look over there. Yeah, look, at home, this is what it is. I do all my best work from that angle as yeah, well. Yeah, it's far <laughs> enough away from me, that makes me look a bit younger, doesn't it? Oh, Heather, it's not arrived yet. It's not arrived yet. We did an embroidery machine um, show the other day, and I was fascinated. They're so amazing. I know, so I've ordered one. Oh, have you? Yeah. Can't afford it, but I've ordered one. What's your plan, then? For what, what are you going to embroider? Towels. With? Nice. My, I'm going to monogram all my towels. Pillowcases as well. Uh, do, yeah, uh, Jane brought in this really lovely pattern she'd done on a pillowcase. Oh, Heather's got... Oh, was, Heather, was it Heather that wanted the email address? Well, now this comes round and the bottom, the lining meets the front. Edge. Okay, so that's why you can't pleat it beforehand. Yes, I think that's the, and then it's based, we based along these lines, these marks. I mean, you can mark, you could use a ruler and mark them all the way yes, along to yeah. follow. Um, we based along with wide stitches, or actually you could use regular small stitches and not remove them and use them. So along each of so these. So you put, oh, you put stitches in? I put stitches in, but then I took them out again okay. later. But I, Did it tell you to do that? It, it said base, so I assume they had to okay. come out. It didn't say specifically to take them out, though. So no, no, no. Are the instructions about, just so I can definitely make sure? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, sure in your, they're in your... Um, oh. I think I just want to put them in your trolley. There they are, there they are, there they are. Oh. Oops, sorry. I think they want you to, to baste it so that the lining doesn't move... It is. ...away from the... Um, Right, eight minutes we've got. Is that eight or seven? Seven. Right, so I'm going to base the raw, the raw edges along the bottom. Right. Yeah, so that doesn't move to slip that Just way. Just to make sure, and then base along each of these lines. I'll give it a press after that, actually. Okay. Just to make sure. The base across the, base along the bottom, then. I'm going to, I'm not going to pin this. I'm just going to do it for yeah. the sake of time. But the, the lining is deliberately bigger than the main fabric so that it turns over the top and it gives you a binding effect across the top. There he is, Trevor. Trevor's the blue bottle if you just tuned in. It's Hannah's pet blue bottle. Oh, but I he's think getting cheeky now. Look, oh. look, 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 look. How rude. How rude, he's sitting on the sewing machine. Oh, he won't like, oh, he hasn't gone when you started either, look. Brazen. Oh. They weren't quick enough to catch him then. Uh, but I think this is the bit of the pattern that could be. I think maybe. Oh, sorry, Joe. Go on. Sorry. So, no, go on. You think this is the pattern? What? Just in case this it could be the bit that's a bit, a bit confusing. So. Um. I think it takes a while for your messages to come through from Hannah to me, and if you press it again the second time, I think it stops it. So what's the question? Can the bag base be picked cut as one piece? Is, is there any reason why it's got a seam down the middle? Because I was thinking that when you said that could be cut as one piece, couldn't it? it would is there any reason there's a seam down there? It would be cut that way. Oh, that way, sorry, yeah. No, there isn't actually. That could be one yes. entire piece. So, because when um, Mandy does, I'll oh, just move that up. Okay. Yeah. So, this is these are your two bottom pieces here with your seam allowance, right? But you could almost cut it as one piece like that, and then your centre's there, and you do your box. Then you do your box bottom there. So yes. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. Um, you could cut it as one piece, yes, you could cut it as one piece. I don't know why they've done it as two, unless it's just aesthetically pleasing to have the lines going across, I don't know. 
whether they wanted that to the line up for boxing the corners, but no, there's no real okay. reason why that's there. Because you don't need to bag out through it or anything. Oh, you need to get out and Right. I'm holding this because I think you want this, don't you, still? Have you finished with this? I think I know what I'm, I'm just you sure? about getting it wrong. Yeah. I'll put it open there so you can just glance down at it. The problem is I've had two sleeps. I've had two sleeps since I made this. And um, your brain's that, gone already. Enough, that's enough for it all to drop out of my brain. <laughs> I suppose you're making so many projects, you've got so many projects on the go all at the same time, haven't you? Oh, few. Hannah's got a good idea for Christmas. Oh. Take your budgerigar, which we haven't seen on the show, it's been in the magazines, right? It has. And turn it into a robin. It would be easily robinified, I think. See? So that's what Hannah's thinking, you see, for Christmas. Just get rid of these. And then, with a nice wide stitch, so not, let me get the pattern piece to make it a bit more. Oh, you're right. A bit easier. Right, leave the stitching lines, but based along each of the fold lines. With not, nice wide the, stitches. Not the central line, only the fold lines. Only the fold line, just, and then press along that fold line to the centre. But if you're, if you're confident, you don't need to, there's no, the, the basing stitch doesn't do anything, does it? As long as you've got it your markings, you could do your box pleats like this, as long as your markings are all in place, couldn't you? Yes, we know. I mean, you could stitch if you want to, like you're going to. I'll stitch just to show, and also, and then when it fits onto here, this, the middle line will transfer the markings from the pattern piece. I've not, because I press things, and often I'll mark them up when I do them, and I'll press them with steam, and because it's a water erasable pen, it's oh, gone. Oh, it disappears so, from there. Yes, often, and because we've got the straps to line up the pattern piece, I put the marks on later. Uh, uh, I haven't got any message, no, sorry. Frances said she loved the tote bag, Joe. <clears throat> she ordered the green version in the tilde. Quick question. Given that the wadding will not shrink, should I pre-wash the fabric? Only if you are going to wash the bag. I tend not to with bags. But a lot of the time, with the shrinkage of this cotton, what a lot of our quilters say is that the, when they wash their quilts without washing it beforehand, uh, it just tightens it up. It doesn't shrink, shrink. So it, it might be that as you're using it a lot and then you wash it, it'll just, it'll just tighten it up a little bit. Yes. Uh, how long has got, Joe? Got... Two minutes. Two minutes. Right, I now can't see. Under the, there we go. There. <laughs> Under the light. There we go. But start from the bottom up when stitching the machine lines. I don't think these are strictly in the right place. Let's have a look. Oh, he's back. Trevor. The thing is, you could, you could hand tap those lines in, because they're only a guidance line, aren't they? They are. So you just have to fold along, so it folds along your stitch lines, and, it just, yeah. and give them a really good press. I was going to say, yeah. Really good press. And then once that's all pleated, you just fit, fit that over. The, the seams at the side, you think they would line up with those, but they don't. They'll line up with the centre of a pocket. Oh, okay, right, of course, yes. Oh, yes, yes. But so when you, put, when you put this on, the seam isn't going to be there where the side seam is, because obviously there's the side seam of the bag. The seams on my, yours will be further around, that's all. But nobody's ever going to see, nobody's ever going to see that, because it's all lined and everything. Uh, that's the yellow bundle. I'll it's go through the bundles any second now. Um, very quickly, so you've pinned it to the bottom. All your pleats are in place, yeah. and then the centre mark stitch line lines up with a mark on this that you transfer onto this piece. Yeah. So I get the pattern piece. I have to go, I'm afraid. Have you got to go yeah. with that? And then stitch them along. And then all your pockets then are on. So top stitch it across the bottom. Do you top stitch it down each the centre of down those pleats? Down each of the stitch lines that are marked. Yeah. And then once they're all in place, based around the edge, just to make sure they're sealed on the bottom and they're all in place. Thank you. Oh, sorry to rush at the end there. Sorry. Um, you're back tomorrow I with am. Natasha. Yeah. And you're making... Oh, and that's an impossible question. You have to tune in <laughs> and watch tomorrow. 
If you think about it while I'm doing these, just shout it out. Teddy bear in a bag. Teddy bear in a bag. And a quilt block. And a what? From a quilt block. A, 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 and a pillar box. A quilt block. A quilt block. <laughs> Don't know where I had pillar box. Right, this is the blue mandala one here. Most popular so far, the one that Joe's been making. You get a metre of the blue mandala. You get a metre of the azalea uh, linear print. You get half a metre of the uh, fuchsia, half a metre of the navy blue. The pattern, there's the still, all of the, the thanks for £45.45. And 45 pence. Tilda Green, Tilda Green in this one. This is called the rose uh, one. You get a metre of the green rose, <coughs> excuse me, a metre of the green uh, clown flower. You get half a metre of the ivory, half a metre of the baby pink, plus your thread, there's the kit. Now this one is very, very, very limited. This is Tilda in blue. Again, you get a metre of the, such a beautiful fabric. Metre of that, you get a metre of the, the clown, uh, clown flower, half a metre of the baby pink, half a metre of the ivory, and then again, all the kit for £59.95. Last but not least, the one that Joe has all, had already made. Oh, I've got ages of night. So you get half, uh, you get a metre of the ticking, a metre of the rose frames, you get half a metre of the candy spot, half a metre of the candy floss, and then the still. You get all of those for £53.95. Now, coming up in the next hour, we've got the second half of all those gorgeous fabrics I had an hour ago. So go, no, go nowhere. I've got the fabrics for last hour. You must put some in your basket. You'll be able to see more now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. By viewer demand, Jo Carter returns on Monday the 19th of June with her much-loved Panda Pop clamshell quilt. This unique mini quilt, complete with cheeky peeping pandas, is perfect for improving your technique and makes an incredible gift that'll last for generations. And what's more, Jo will be using some jaw-droppingly beautiful K-facet pre-cut fabrics for that extra helping of wow factor. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve with our nifty kit, containing everything you need to take your quilting skills to the next level. See how it's done on Monday the 19th of June, 8 a.m., only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 email us at help at sewingquarter.com visit our facebook page follow us on instagram follow us on twitter at sewing quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air Tune in on Thursday the 22nd of June when talented dressmaker Jennifer Taylor will be dropping in to share with us her sewing secrets. Jennifer's debut book, Girl with a Sewing Machine, is packed with tips, guides, inspiration on all things sewing. Following its successful launch last month, Jennifer returns to give Sewing Quarter viewers an exclusive look at her favourite projects from the book and plenty of advice on how to get more from your sewing machine. 
We'll also be giving you the chance to get your hands on a signed copy. So join us and the girl with the sewing machine for a fun-filled technique tuning hour on Thursday the 22nd of June at 8am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Happy Father's Day indeed for tomorrow, all you dads out there. Right, now, if you're watching at nine o'clock, I brought you some of the most beautiful, classy, classic um, blender, oh, just really, really beautiful, beautiful fabrics. This is the other half of the range. Now, what I just, because there were too many to do an hour, it would have been far too rushed to do them all in an hour. What I told you to do was pop them in your basket, if it was only you liked in the nine o'clock hour, pop them in your basket, because I'm now gonna show you fabrics that will go with. I've got all the fabrics we showed in the nine o'clock hour here as well. So if you want me to mix and match, if you're saying, oh, John, that's lovely, but will it go with the such and such from nine o'clock, then I'll do that. If you weren't watching at all at nine o'clock, then this whole hour are premieres for you. Everything that's on the table here are all premieres. Everything on the table over there were premieres at nine o'clock today, so they're premieres today. Before I do any of that, though, I'll just take you through the bundle. The blue bundle, the blue bundle went. The blue skies bundle sold out. I've got this one, which are um, cappuccino, mocha, cappuccino, latte, beige, and ecru. Was it? One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so I've got mocha, cappuccino, latte, beige. Oh, biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. That was the other one, biscuit. Sorry. So you get. Five half meters there, two and a half meters for 15 pounds and 95 pence in your natural colors. Brilliant, isn't it? Just out the number 0800 112 4433. Go on the web and you can get them there. That wasn't a flourish. We've got a big blue bottle in the studio. That is over there. He keeps bombarding me. I've got two thread packs, two, three, two little thread bundles we put together for you. This is the blue one. You get four threads. All Gutemann, all polyester, all 100 metres. Uh, you get a navy blue, a cobalt blue, a French blue, and an Air Force blue. They're the colours I've given them because they've just got numbers. They've just got numbers on the top. If you want to know the numbers, let me know and I'll be able to tell you. £6.95 for all four of those. Oh, actually, Mike, could you just cover up my fruit? Because I think that Trevor the Fly might be after those. Are oh, we in there already? Ooh. You can... Yeah, it's very naughty, this fly. He's buzzing around. I wonder if he's the same one that used to visit us in the other studios, Hannah. Right, and then I've also got the natural thread combination here. 6 95 they're lovely, aren't they? Like a chocolate, a cappuccino latte, and a cafe latte. I could, I'd love a frothy coffee right now. I haven't had one for year, um, well, months. At six pounds, not while the show's still on, Hannah. Yeah, Hannah's off to, to a coffee, well-known coffee shop in Digbeth bus station. Right, now, these are all premieres. These are all premieres. Now, you've seen a few of the patterns, but in completely different colorways in the last, in the last hour. Now, this is just exquisite. We've, I've already shown you this with like the dark blue, midnight blue background. This is kind of the reverse of the one we showed you earlier. Isn't it lovely? Now, it's called Lilacs. Oh, hang on. It wasn't called Beach House earlier, was it? Oh, okay. This is confusing me now. This is Lilacs Beach House. Right, there's no lilac colour at all. There's no lilac colour at all in it. These are lilac flowers. And then you've got, you've got lovely little... Um, let me just put my glasses on here, because you've got... You've got blue and white um, flowers here and blue leaves here. And then every so often, there's like a little shadow of kind of... Um... Oh, sorry, no, there, there's one there. Can you see it there? Literally, just a little... Every now and then, there's just a little highlighter of almost like a very, very pale gold. It's nice, isn't it? That's Lilac's Beach House fabric from the Blue Sky range. Half meter, £5.95. 
Um, Munch, have you got the box with the tissue paper? We haven't shown that yet either as well. So that's that one in the um, lila, oh. Right, okay, so Bonjour the Beach House means it's the colour then, because that didn't have a colour on it, did it? Let's see what this one's called. Let's see what they call this. Because again, this is the same fabric, the same print, upside down. Uh, no, it'll be one of those over there, Munch, I think, on the table. Look at this. This is very, very sort of Regency almost, isn't it? You can imagine one of those Watto back dresses. The do you know what I mean? Oh, I see. So gold. So beach house is the colour because this is golden hour. This is the colour golden hour. It's nice, isn't it? Lilac's golden hour. Um, that's beautiful. That's very, very elegant and sophisticated. That one, isn't it? I'm just going to go through them all quickly. And then we'll um, start mixing and matching and putting them all together. Now, a print that you might have seen earlier. Let me just put those two together like that. Uh, the, the sprig pattern. The sprig pattern's coming up next. I'll just put that over there because the table's going to get very full in this hour. This is the sprig pattern. Now, was, wasn't it called um, something like... Being blown away, what was it called? Windswept. This is windswept, they're just doing it on purpose, aren't they? Windswept mountain top. Now, remember I said earlier, it reminded me of the Laura Ashley essence, right? Essence of Laura Ashley, doesn't that? Five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. Is Munch getting confused? Yeah. Then this one's nice. This is beautiful. This is like a denim blue, this one. Oh, bless you. Oh, there's Hannah sneezing. Sorry, everybody. Oh, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Oh. Rose Poudre, it was called by, maybe it's Maybelline. Um, Lynn asked about the nail varnish that um, Joe was wearing. It's Rose Poudre by Maybelline. Right. Sorry, I just remembered that. Nobody reminded me. Come on, Munch. Is she confusing you? This is windswept, windswept sky's the limit. So windswept is the pattern. Sky's the limit. This is that one on the end there. Goes with those three there. And then the one that matches these goes with it. At five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter. Right? And then there's the other one that matches that one, goes with those now. Oh, there's, can you see Munch there? Right, now I've got Rustic Gate. Come on, Munch, hurry up, because you've got to do all these. This is Rustic Gate. Now, before you saw this one with the blue background, Rustic Gate, this one's called. Mountain Top, Rustic Gate Mountain Top. Let's have a close look. There you go. Nice, isn't it? Have uh, you switched me off, Hannah? There we go. Isn't that lovely? So we've done that one in the blue before, blue background. This one's in more of a, a beige, cream, not beige at all, creamy ivory background with the different coloured blue pattern, rustic gate. Okay, so that one goes across. I'll go through them all and then I'll go through them um, properly with you in a second. Then, now this, we had this one earlier. Remember, it was just a cream background with the, like, the kind of um, biscuit flowers. It's gorgeous in this colourway, look. Um, canapé. Not canapé. Mind you, I'm peckish. What nibbles have you done for us today, Munch? Oh, nothing. Look, isn't that lovely? Canopy brisk fabric from the Blue Sky Range. That's the biscuit, uh, that's the br brisk. Blue sky's the... Oh, lots of messages throughout the blue sky song that I was singing earlier. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send some through to me, that's same. Uh, Anthony, hello, John. Blue skies is from Irving Berlin's Putting on the Ritz from the 1946, from Tony. Oh, is it Tony? The blue skies. You see, I could have been any song that I was singing, couldn't it? 
Someone, uh, from the film White Christmas. Could be from the film White Christmas, yeah. Now, uh, so that was that one. That was the Canopy Brisk. So much, I want the one that goes with that one as well now. Brilliant. Uh, then, look at this one. Now, we had this one earlier with the yellow dots on it, with the paler background. This is the darker background. There's no yellow dots on this one. Look, isn't that lovely? Really, really uh, beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. That's lovely, isn't it? That's the Meadow Cadet, that one's called. They've all, they've all got different names, haven't they? They're the lovely, elaborate names, those, aren't they? Right, what I might do is I might just move that one over there. Just trying to help Munch out here now. Put the lilac one there. Right, OK, and then that one goes with that one, Munch. And then, now I've got three new ones now. Three that you haven't seen before. Now, is this called Hydrangea? Oh. This is Cloud Nine Bluebird. The which one? No, they're both exactly the same size, but two different colours. Let me just show you so make sure we've got the right graphics in. They're the two. Is this the darker one then? Oh, okay, if you look on the web, the patterns look like different sizes. They're identical. So this one is, yeah, Cloud Nine Full Moon. That's this one. That's this one. Cloud Nine Full Moon. Nice, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful fabric. That I'll go through them all. I'll go through them all because um, I've got the other one in the kind of paler blue, the more like the Air Force blue. They're all from the Blue Skies range. Look, isn't this lovely? This blue, it's a kind of very rich, almost like um, Kate Middleton blue, I'd say this was. That's not a technically colour name, but I'm sure somebody's um, done that somewhere. Isn't that lovely? No, 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 he's put... Oh, sorry, Munch. I just wafted my fabric then, so I do apologise. Five pounds and 95 pence for half metre. Then last but not least, I've got this one now. This is lovely. This has got lovely angles on it, this one. But these are going to go together so beautifully together, aren't they? Look. Called Breeze Baltic, apparently, that one. Breeze Baltic. They're all 5.95 for half a metre. They're just beautiful, aren't they? I love the colours. Really, really gorgeous colours, aren't they? Hello, Anne. Lilac Beach House. Is this 100% cotton? I want to make a reversible box jacket. <clears throat> Anne. Hundred percent cotton, and hundred percent cotton, a machine washable at thirty degrees. I'll show you. Hang on, look. I'll show you. Oh, which, which one is it? The lilac beach. Okay, I'll, hang on. I'll, yeah, they're all the same, but I'll get the one out that Anne wants to look at. Right. So that's everything. I've shown you everything now, but I need to go back to the light. See, Anne came in earlier and wanted to know. Well, she was asking about this lilac one. But now we've got, it's not lilac in fab, there's no colour lilac. There's just the three colourways. Now, obviously, we've only got two graphics. I can only put two graphics in at the same time. OK, so this one in the middle here. Oh, aren't they lovely? This one was from my earlier stock, right? Earlier show. Half the quantity of that's gone already. Half the quantity. Let me just fold that back so you can see. Half the quantity. That's the lilac full moon fabric. Beautiful. It's just gorgeous. I have to say, these two are my... These two are my... Oh, I'm, oh, you see, Hannah likes the golden one best. But anyway, this is the lilac full moon at 5 95 for half a metre. This blue one here, same fabric, same fabric, right? So exactly the same pattern, but just in a different colourway. 
You see now, look, you see, you can see on here, you can see on the darker one there, the little shadow on there. You'll see it's on all of them, but just in slightly different colors. So this one here that you see in the graphics for now, which is the lilac beach house, that's this one here. Now, where's the, where's the um, selvage? It usually says, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, hang on, glasses. By Macau Fabrics. Normally says, doesn't it? 100% cotton on the... On the, on the um, so it is definitely, but I just wanted to prove it, but it is definitely 100% cotton. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So that one there is the Lilacs Beach House. So, and then this one here, which Hannah adores, this one is the Lilacs Golden something. Golden Hour. Lilacs Golden Hour, that one's called. Do you know what would be lovely? If you made yourself a really lovely 1950s dress out of this one, then you made your handbag out of this one. Because then people think, oh, it's just nice, she's got a goldy coloured handbag to go with the fabric, not realising that it's identical. Or, you know there's that, there's that shop where you can take your fabric in and they make shoes out of your favourite fabric? You could make your shoes out of this. If you go into a wedding or something like that. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? So also, if you... Oh, now. So, so which, which, which... What are you going to make the reversible jacket out of, Anne? Is it this one and this one? The reversible jacket. Um, what uh, Jennifer Mills did it the other day, didn't she? Cloth kit. Reversible jacket. Um, Jennifer Taylor has made it in, like, the lotus flowers. And then last week... Or this week, is it? What day are we now? This week, Jennifer Mills made it out of a solid fabric and... Oh, lots of different choices, right? Then that... Which ones are you using, Anne? Which ones? Because they're all going to look gorgeous. If that... Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Do you know what, as well? If you, if you made, say, a dress out of... Or something out of the dark blue one and then just piped it with the golden one. Wouldn't that look lovely? Wouldn't that look beautiful? Right, so that's this one. Lilac full moon going across the bottom. This one is lilac golden hour. I'm never going to remember all these by the end there, are they? Am I? The thing is, if you're getting confused by the colorways, just go onto the website and you'll see all three of these underneath me now and you'll be able to choose which one you want. But more than half the stock of this one's gone because we had that one in the um, nine o'clock hour, remember? So more than half the stock of that blue one has gone. This looks like, um, like Delft, doesn't it? Like you could make the most gorgeous period uh, costume out of that one. I think they're lovely. Aren't they beautiful fabrics? And such good quality. 5 95 for half a metre, remember? Now, remember, when you buy fabric off the bolt like this, by the half metre... When we say buy the half metre, you don't have to buy lots and lots of different half metres. You can have as much as you want, but you can only order it. The minimum amount you can order is half metre. And then after that, it's anything one metre, one and a half metre, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, like that. You don't get half metre pieces. And when it comes off the bolt, it comes in one of these boxes. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely box. And then, when you open it, your fabric is wrapped in tissue paper inside there. Um, and the cardboard is um, quite substantial. A lot of people have said they now use this cardboard, uh, cardboard box as storage. Right. Oh, she, uh, she's going to use, hang on, uh, yet the Lilac Cloud 9 and the Breeze Bolton. So much to choose from. Oh, I know. I know. <gasps> um... Oh, just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I also like that the... the uh, uh, oh, no. Morning, John. Loving the new materials on holiday in America, but still watching you. Oh, Laurie, how lovely. Whereabouts in America are you? I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon as well. Well, August. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? OK, so let's move on. Where do you want to go next, Hannah? The rustic. Rustic gate. So let's swap that one with that one, because I want to keep the table nice and tidy. Yes, the big fly is getting very bold now, and he's just coming and sitting on the table. This one was from the nine o'clock hour, but it's still available now if you want it. 
This is Rustic Gates uh, Bluebird. Right, that's Rustic Gates Bluebird. It's nice, isn't it? Really, really lovely and elegant. That was one of the top three, wasn't it? That was one of the top three at the, the nine o'clock show earlier. And then this is also Rustic Gates. So this is, the blue one is the Bluebird. The one across the bottom is um, Mountain Top. Mountain Top. It's nice, isn't it? Rustic Gate Bluebird, Rustic Gate Mountain Top. Yeah, I know, so makes it, they make it so helpful, don't they? So helpful with that. But if you were making, imagine making, you were making a quilt and using those, you're gonna have like the stripes going in one way, stripes going another way. Hmm? Beautiful, isn't it? Five pounds and 95 pence. Rustic Gate, they're lovely, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. Okay, um, let's fold that one up. Next, oh, did where to go next? Because there's so many beautiful. They are a hundred percent cotton, remember? Right now, um, have a look at these two. I called them hydrangea. They're not called great hydrangea. They're cloud nine, I think these were called, weren't they? This is cloud. I'll waft this one out completely for you. This is cloud nine, full moon. Right, when you go to the website, it looks like it's a bigger print than the other, but they're both identical, just different colours. So this is Cloud Nine at Full Moon. Oh, I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the print. Again, that would... Do you know who I'm seeing now? Um, Emma Forbes. I'm seeing Emma Forbes wearing something made out of this. Oh, she's having... A, oh, you're in Illinois, Laurie. How lovely. Visiting family. Oh, how gorgeous. Is it nice weather? Uh, Cloud Nine Full Moon Fabric from the Blue Sky. That is lovely. There's something sumptuous and elegant and sophisticated, playful. We like that. So that's Cloud Nine Full Moon. But the Cloud Nine also comes in another colorway. It's, it's blue, another blue. I'll put them together in a minute so you can see the difference in the blue. But this is lovely. This is the one I thought would be Kate Middleton blue. It's like a, a rich cornflower, a rich cornflower blue, that one, isn't it? So that one's called Bluebird. Cloud Nine Bluebird Fabric. 595 half meter. Remember, it's 40, uh, 44 inches wide, did we say? I'm sure we did. Oh, you've got a very good memory, Timothy. 44 salvage to salvage, and then obviously 43 without the salvage. Nice, isn't it? Right, let me put the two colours together so you can see which blue you like best or which blue you want best. So the one in the big is, cloud, is this one, which is the blue, the blue bird. And then the full moon, is it called? Yeah, full moon is the darker one. I'll just fold that over, there you go. So you can just see the two different blues together. So this one is full moon. And this one is uh, bluebird. They look, they do, I was just thinking that. They look gorgeous together, don't they? I wouldn't do, two, I wouldn't make two different, I wouldn't do a top and a skirt or something like that, but you could do a dress and trim with one. A Dresden block. The Dresden box like a wheel. It looks like a wheel. You've got centre and then you've got like fans going around. Yes, you could do if you just wanted the two colours. Nice. They're beautiful. The thing is, I'm going on and on and on about dressmaking or quilting. You tell me what you'd want to make out of them. The, the quality of the cotton is really, really lovely. Really, really beautiful. I'm just sitting here feeling it like this. I shouldn't be doing that, should I? Right, next. Right, I like this one. Uh, Yes. Now, this is the one we had in the nine o'clock hour, which I have to hold up. This is called Canopy Gold. Golden. Hour. And I can only do one word at a time. Canopy Golden Hour Fabric. You see, and I love that. This is the print that reminded me of my nan for some reason, and I don't know why. Of course, she'd be about 120 now, I think, my nan. 
She was born in 1890. No, 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 no. And then this one, but then look at this one. Look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. This one's the same fabric, but in a different colorway. It's still got the same um, creamy um, ivory background. Do I have to hold this one up as well? This is called Canopy Brisk. That is lovely, isn't it? That is so pretty. Um, Hannah wants this one, but she doesn't know what she'd make out of it. But that's turning you into a, a proper sewist now, Hannah, where you buy the fabrics and just sit have a stash of fabric. Oh, she just said she, she had lots of fabric before she even worked here. She just loves buying fabric. Oh. I did that when I travel around the world uh, in the film industry. I used to buy ornaments and um, fabrics as I went around. I got loads from Ethiopia and lots from um, South Africa. I'm ignoring, I'm ignoring my director now because he's being sarcastic and getting on my nerves. Next, Hannah does it with pottery. Right, now these three, you saw one of these in the hour before and now I've got three colour ranges for you in this. These go together beautifully as well. This is windswept, this one. The one we saw in the first hour was this. Uh, uh, th which one did we see in the first hour? This one. Yeah, it's all merging into one now. It's time for me to go home. That's windswept twilight. You see, I'd, well, anyway, let's not go there. Uh, that's the one in the middle, the biscuit colour. Then, so that was in the nine o'clock show. You saw that one in the nine o'clock show. That was one of the favourites in the nine o'clock show. Then we've got these two colourways here. Aren't they lovely? Don't they look lovely together, those three? If you're doing a, imagine if you did a quilt. So the blue one here, that one's windswept, I can't even say it, windswept sky's the limit. It certainly is, isn't it? The blue is like a lovely, dark, rich cornflower blue, that one. Uh, and then the other one that's new this hour is this one here. Same pattern. This is windswept mountain top, this one. So you have to remember this, that this one's the snow on the top. What was that one? So that's the sky above the mountain top. And then what was this one? Golden, oh, I don't know. Can't make a story out of that, I'm afraid. Oh, they're just lovely. I think they're gorgeous together. Five pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Do let me know. Oh, hang on. Some, uh, this is what I love. This is what I love. This is what's interactive, right? Anne wants to buy some. Please, can you put the lilac golden hour and the windswept twilight together. So that's windswept twilight. Yes, it is. That is windswept twilight. Hang on then. Oh, hang on then. Thank you. This is windswept twilight. And she wants to see what with it. Oh, it's gone. The lilac. <laughs> yeah, which lilac? Oh, with all three of them. I'll put it with all three of them. So this is windswept twilight. And... Yeah, so this is windswept twilight, and then there the lilacs there. That's the mid, oh, I don't know. Beach house. Oh, and she's left, she's moved away from the microphone. Don't worry, don't worry, they're the three different lilac ones anyway there. Full moon, that one is, and golden, 
Gold now. They look lovely together. Which one? Oh, oh, this is for the reversible jacket. She's deciding which one she wants for the reversible jacket, you see. They're all nice, aren't they? Lovely. They're all 5.95 for half a meter, remember? So that one goes back over there. That one goes there. Right, which ones haven't I shown you then? Oh, this is a new one. This is the, the new one. This is called Breeze Block or something, isn't it, this one? The, I, I might expect you to remember all the names at my age. There you go, Breeze Baltic. I was half right. Breeze Baltic. It's nice, isn't it, that one? You're all right with the pattern. That's a very small... Nineteen fifties plates is what Hannah's seeing. Do you mean you don't mean Delft? No, you don't mean Delft. Who said that? It's very light what you say. No shush. Very light what you say. I can't hear what Hannah's saying. It's called like the home maker pattern in the 1950s America. That's what she's thinking it looks like. I've got no idea either. I would go with, wouldn't look like. I wouldn't know what she's talking about. Uh, right, okay. Da, 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 da. Right, we haven't done these, this one. The lovely ditzy, fab, uh, ditzy print one. I have to say, I do love the lilac. The lilac print is really, really lovely. Right, this is the one you saw earlier. I have to hold this one up for you. Oh, no, I can put this one down, can't I? So this is a really lovely ditzy print with the dark blue flowers and it's me uh, meadow beach house. Right, beach house is obviously the colour. This is meadow. Uh, you've got the dark blue flowers. You've got the lovely lighter blue leaves and then when they come in closer, you can see there's a beautiful little yellow dot. Hedging in slowly. The little dots in between the flowers are yellow, like a golden yellow. Five pounds and 95 pence for half a metre. Do you know what? Can I just say that on your telly, your telly is not doing this fabric justice at all. It's a gorgeous fabric. It's just not doing it justice because on your fabric, it's, you can't see the delicacy of it. It's just beautiful. There you go. That's a real close up there with the yellow dots, you see. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really cute. Then, so that one was shown in the nine o'clock hour. That's Meadow Beach. We do the same print, but in a darker blue. Now, this one hasn't got the yellow dot on it. Do you know what? They'd look lovely together as well, wouldn't they? Look. Oh, that's nice. So that's the Meadow Cadet. That's the Meadow Cadet, so the little dots on that one are in a pale blue, and then the flowers are in a, either a black, or the flowers are in black. So the one Cadet fabric is this one, and the Meadow Beach House is this one. But don't they look lovely together? That'd be nice if you were piping or binding something. Five ninety-five half a meter. They're just lovely, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. So let me know. Let me know what you're going to put with what. What you're going to make out of what? Because so many of these have gone. You must have some idea what you're doing. Or you you're just putting it in your stash. Now Hannah's favourite is racing ahead. I'll show you that again in a second. Right, the two lilac ones. Oh, isn't that funny? My favourite and Hannah's favourite. Right. I'll show you all three of them. Okay, so these are the three, these are the three lilac fabrics. There's nothing lilac about them. I keep repeating this. It's because they are the lilac flower. That's the, the lilac flower. This is full moon in the middle here. So lilac full moon, well ahead in number one place. Second place is Hannah's favorite, this one. 
Let me just take that one out. Oh, they look lovely together, don't they? So that is lilac full moon, and that is lilac golden hour. Right, this is the only, we had loads, right? We bought, as I said, beginning of the nine o'clock hour. Don't worry, don't worry, we've bought loads and loads of this, we'll be fine. This blue one, the full moon one, if you've got it in your basket, you do, I'm, I am concerned about it. I have, so many of you have got that in your basket. So please, please, please be careful. I'm thinking this one will go the same way because that one with the blue one, the full moon one was in the, the nine o'clock show. So it's already had an airing, hasn't it? Whereas this one's only just arrived in this hour. They're beautiful. Just look at them again together. The two number one favorites, this one and then followed by that one. Full moon. Oh, right, now, little, I meant to say to you, little Paul can. Well, he says he can. Oh, okay, we need to talk to him about that. Right. Oh, you need to tell him that, then. That's what I told him. But he wouldn't have it. Right. What's next? They're all so beautiful. Do you know what? Should we, I, I don't know if I can make a patchwork, because it'll just take too long to put all these beautiful fabrics together. Right, now these, I love these. Let's just concentrate on the first one, right? This has only just arrived, right? This has only just arrived. Now let's have a think about this. You see, I'm seeing I can't, a lot of these fabrics, I'm seeing vintage S clothes, like 1950s, um, 1950s, uh, like not skater dress exactly, but you know, like an afternoon tea dress with a very, very full skirt. What would you, now what would you team it with? I think that might be the problem, is what would you team it with? Let me just get the, this bundle over here. Let's have a look what this looks like with it. Rita sent in an email. Good morning, Rita. She's loving the show. Thank you, Rita. And all the new fabrics are fabulous. Thank you. All sit, sit, sitting in Brexton, a little village in West, West Brexington in Dorset, doing a cross-stitching. Oh, no, she's having a peaceful day after an awful experience on the M5. She says, but she said, there are so many gorgeous fabrics, I don't know which one to choose. Listen, Rita, you take care of yourself. You've had a traumatic day. You have a restful day today. That M5 is awful. It's like the M6, isn't it? Anyway, look at these. If you team them up with any of these, let me take that one out. Yeah, team them up with any colours like that. How beautiful are they all going to look? This is the Cloud 9 Full Moon. And then uh, this is a bundle that we're offering you. The blue one sold out. This is just the uh, natural one now. Going across the bottom there, you get two and a half meters of fabric, half a meter of each, biscuit, mocha, latte, beige. There's one other coffee I've forgot, forgotten. Cappuccino. Cappuccino for 15 pounds and 95 pence. The thing is, you see, this blue fabric, I rather love it, but you see, I'd kind of be tempted to team it with this. It's counterpart, it's partner in crime. Because look how beautiful those two colors go together. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I just love those two colors together. So this one is the full moon, that one is the blue bird. I just think they look really gorgeous. They look very elegant and sophisticated, don't they? You see, I'm not seeing, I can't see. Oh, unless you made, um, if you've got a conservatory. Mind you, blue, would you put blue into conservatory? I, I, I can't think of, you know, lots of times when you see a fabric and it jumps out of you going, Oh, curtains, blind, da 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 da. This, only, this is only saying pretty little dress, sheath dress to me. We see, where would you put your cushion in that colour? In a dining room. 
Okay. Oh, she doesn't use it at the dining room. I do apologise. What do you use it for, then? That's Karen's bedroom, isn't it? She's got a poor lodger. Um, Hannah's got her friend staying with her called Karen. And anything that Hannah doesn't want in the house gets dumped in Karen's bedroom. But now what she started doing, she started putting it in the dining room now. So the dining room has now become the room where everything goes. But you have to walk through it to get to the kitchen. Oh. Oh. If you ever visit Hannah at home, you're only welcomed into the front room. Little Paul was there for hours. Was it last night? Or the night before, last night, yeah. Little Paul rather likes Karen, you see. Oh, she's little too as well, apparently. Um, bridesmaids dresses. These would be lovely. Bride if you're not going for the full-on taffeta look, really lovely. Or, like we were saying earlier, waistcoats for the men. They're both beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Right, rusty gate, rustic gate, not rusty, rustic gate, yeah. Right. Right. This rustic gate in the first hour, nine o'clock hour, very, very, very popular. What you get on this one, you get the lovely, now it's the pale corn flower, this almost Air Force blue background. With, well, I thought it was, with my eyes, without my glasses, I thought it was bamboo. But there are lots and lots of little, um, uh, like oblongs, all joined together. Right now, they're all the same colour. They're all in a darker marine blue. But then in this hour, we introduced the sister fabric to this, which I think looks lovely as well. Uh, so the one, the blue one from earlier, that's the blue bird rustic, rustic gate. This is Rustic Gate Mountain Top. But this one, you see, it's got a cream background. And then you've got uh, a cornflower blue, and then the same marine darker blue running in between them. So they go beautifully together. Maybe, oh, no, I'm just trying to think now. Let me just put that on the bias. Just seeing what it'd look like if you did a panelled dress or panelled skirt out of it. Let's have a look. Bear with me. OK, Donna's asked, when are we going to get the cloth kits reverse box jacket back pattern? Did they sell out with Jennifer the other day? Oh, well... I Right, OK, um, we don't know if they all sold out or not. Oh, do you know what? There's still three fabrics over there. There's still three fabrics on that table that the 11 o'clock people won't have seen. Um, um, the, the box, the box, the box jacket. Check on the website, and if not, I'll, we'll just try and keep you informed. Basically, they were all in bundles when Jennifer did them the other day. We don't know if we've re they've released the pattern from the bundle yet. But just keep checking on the website. Keep checking on the website. Nice. Nice. Don't they look nice together, those two? It's just as well I looked up then, because I've got bubbles, I've got daisies, and I've got sweethearts still to show you if you weren't here for the... Um, if you didn't see the 9 o'clock show and you've just joined us for the 11 o'clock show, I've got two, three more fabrics that you won't have seen if you weren't watching the 9 o'clock. Sweetheart first, please, Munch. Right, they can go there, they can go there. That's the sweetheart one, well done. Thank you. Oh, Hannah says this reminds her of a plant that's in her garden. Look, it's called Sweethearts Azura. Again, you've got the checker, you've got the blue checker fabric. It's making my eyes go funny, this one. You've got the lovely, lovely um, blue, it's from the Blue Sky range, Sweetheart Azura fabric, 5.95 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it, the way it moves. Beautiful, isn't it? And then those lovely little sweethearts. The thing is, you can mix and match any of these fabrics together. They're all going to look gorgeous. 
Have you done that on purpose, Munch? <laughs> even giggling in the background. Right, two other fabrics you haven't seen this hour if you weren't watching at the nine o'clock. Got the daisy, I love this fabric. Isn't it sweet? It's so summertime, isn't it? Summertime and the living is easy. Daisy Baltic fabric. Daisy Baltic fabric. Remember to check out your baskets. Five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter, but that is lovely, isn't it? Love, love, love the delicate, delicate, delicate print. Uh, hello, Jean. Oh, Jean. What were they like? She says, in the late 70s, I made a pair of jeans made in light denim fabric, like the hydrangea fabric you're showing in the... Oh, yes, Jean. Oh, how lovely. Were they bell bottoms? Were they big flares in the 70s? They will have been, weren't they? She can't answer, but she's going to send me a message. No, no, I wasn't looking for Jean. I was looking for, I was making sure that Michael was all right. Okay. Right. And then bubbles. Bubbles, darling. Champagne for everyone. Oh, what time is it now? Too early. Well, it's not if you're going out for Sunday. Oh, it's not Sunday. It is. You're a bit early if it's Sunday lunch. Um, bubbles. I have to lift this one up, don't I? Isn't that lovely? It's such beautiful fabric. Now, what you've got is you've got like a cream background with like blue bubbles, and every now and then there's a little chocolate, little chocolate bubble there. Caramel, chocolate, caramac. At five pounds and 95 pence, half meter. Now, apparently I showed this with something earlier and it looked divine. Let me show you with some of the fabrics. It's all part, they're all part of the same family. Oh, do you know what that one's going to look lovely with? These two. Look, they look lovely together, don't they? So this is this is the uh, that's bubbles in the in the middle there. And then this one here is the cloud nine full moon fabric. That the um, flies bombarding me now. Well, it's not insulting you because you're not in this room. <laughs> oh, that's why it looks like he's clever. There's two of them. Uh, five pounds and 95 pence for half a metre, all those fabrics. This is the, um, the blue moon, a uh, full moon, and that's the bubbles. And then this one here is called Bluebird. It is at the bottom of your screen now. They're just lovely, aren't they? Right, now, I've only got 10 minutes left with you, less than 10 minutes. Uh, what would you like to see? OK, somebody wants to see the bundle. That's fine. Let me just fold that up. Have a free start. Keep it. Right. Right, see the bundle. Oh, I've come right out of shot there, haven't I? They'd like to see the bundle. This is the bundle, first of all. This is the natural solid bundle. You get half a metre of each of these fabrics. They're 100% cotton. Uh, cappuccino, latte, biscuit, beige, mocha. I would get that in the end. Right, they want to see those with the lilac full moon. I think, they, oh, yes. They're lovely, aren't they? Actually, let me just take the, the mocker out. Look. So you, you do get all of them. If you buy the natural solids, you get all of them. Oh, no, that does work. That does work. I thought it might be a bit dark, but it does work. So this, this is the bundle you get here for £15.95. pence. Oh, they're down to single figures. The bundle's down to single figures. And then this here is the Lilac's full moon fabric. I just think it's exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. That's five pounds and 95 pence for half a meter, but you can have as much as you like. Well, can you though? Because I know when we started the show, half, more than half the stock had gone. Right, somebody wants to see the light, what, with the, with the bundle? 
Yeah, Lilac Golden with the bundle next. Oh, yes, that's nice. Elegant. Very, very elegant, isn't it? So if you're going to do a patchwork, that'd be nice. If you love those very soft, gentle, golden tones. So this is the Lilac uh, Golden Hour. And this is the Natural Solids Bundle down here, these. All of those, yeah, half a meter of each. At 50, so this is fifty. This is um, this is fifteen ninety five for the whole bundle. This is five pounds and ninety five pence for half a meter. Beautiful, aren't they? Right. Oh, Gillian's got a message. Hang on, Gillian. Let me just put that over here. Now I've got Jean's message back. All right, it'll come up in a second. Right, Gillian, don't worry, your message will come through in a second. Right. Windswept is that one. Three different colorways again here. They look so gorgeous together, don't they? Very essence of Laura Ashley, these have got. Windswept Twilight is this one. Five ninety-five half meter. Let me just fold that back so you can see it. That's very, very subtle, that one. But you know what? That would look lovely with the lilacs. Um, oh, half the stock of that one's, that one's gone. So that's Windswept Twilight. This one. Is windswept. I wish I could. Remember. Oh, and the sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, is it? Sky's the limit. Windswept sky. Sky. Sky's the limit. Windswept sky's the limit. Don't they look lovely? Don't they look gorgeous? And then this one is windswept mountain top. The ding ding give me chance. You butted in too quickly. That one's mountain top. Graphics are playing up again. So. Now I've still got Jean's message coming up. Gillian says, Hello, uh, John, Hannah, and Munch, just like old times. We used to work, work together. Great show, can't wait till Monday, says Gillian. Those of you who don't know, it's my birthday show on Monday. It's all I'm allowed to say. I will say something before the end. Stay with me for the next 10 minutes. I'll get into trouble. Haley will ring up and complain, but... Yeah. Um, aren't they gorgeous? Fantastic. Right. Do you want to go back to Hannah's, one of Hannah's favourites? Canapé or canopy. Not canopy. Ooh, what would you like? A fancy... Um, Oh, I don't know, a little mm, mozzarella and tomato on a little stick with a basil leaf. That'd be nice. Uh, oh, no, 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 bruschetta has got bread on it. There we go. So it's a canopy gold and our, we love this. Or oh, they always do, because uh, they don't eat meat, but they always do little, like, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding ones, don't they, as well? And trying to look at a tray. There's always a salmon -y one, isn't there? Oh. Anyway, that's Canopy Golden Hour. But then this. Look at this one. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Nice, isn't it? Now, have you got tomorrow's menu ready, Hannah? This is Canopy Brisk, this one. Five pounds and 95 pence. Now, I know it's confusing. I do know it's confusing. The best way, if you're a bit confused about what you want, is go to the web, www.sayingcorture.com. Press watch the telly, watch us live, and then go down below the screen and you'll see all the different fabrics all lined up. Some of the pictures are a bit weird because this one and this one are the same fabric with different colours. But on the website, one looks like it's much, much bigger than the other one. They are the same size. So don't, don't worry about that. So go there and check that. 
or if you've got any questions, you just ring the call center on 0800 112 4433. They're brilliant. They can sort everything out for you. Right, okay. I said when we started this the nine o'clock show with the fabric, I said, well, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. There's loads. If you've got either of these two in your basket, the lilac, uh, the lilac pattern in um, full moon, that's this one, or this one, which is Hannah's, this is my favorite, the full moon, this is Hannah's favorite. Just be careful, just be careful because, um, well, I, I can see disappointment looming. I can see disappointment looming. So that's the full moon and that's the golden hour going across the bottom of the screen. Both of those, if you've got them in your basket, please, please, please be careful. I'm not going to shout, check out, check out, check out, because everyone shouts at me. And then the bundle, oh God, I haven't got long to go. The bundle, if you've got this in your basket, please check out. We had one very similar to this yesterday, which completely sold out. The blue one we had in this range went straight away in the nine o'clock hour. This, is, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. Please, please, please check out. You get half a metre of each of the fabrics. So you get cappuccino, mocco, latte, biscuit, and beige. Got them right? It's just, well, I'm just about to go home, aren't I? Let's push that. There you go. Really lovely. Half a metre reach, 100% cotton from our Spectrum, uh, Macau Spectrum Solids. Uh, uh, £15.95, that is. You get two and a half metres, remember. Two and a half metres of really gorgeous cottons there. So, what's left to tell you? I'll pile all these up and I'll, show, I'll go through them very, very quickly. Um, have you got... No, no, well, well, no. The best thing to do is because I've only got one minute left, you see. By the time we've done the menu, I'll, um, I'll just explain what you can do. Right, menu. Oh, wait, are we doing it as a full page? OK, then. Here's the menu for tomorrow. Now, this will be Natasha. So she's doing beautiful... Has she just got one guest tomorrow. Beautiful bags is Natasha at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Bear in a bag at 9 o'clock with uh, Joe Carter. 10 o'clock, Pampered Pets. And 11 o'clock... Quilter, quilting technique time. Oh, that's nice. Um, if now all these fabrics, if they, if you want any of these fabrics, and you're confused, you, I've confused you because there's so many of them to see. You can see why we couldn't do them all in one hour, didn't you? If you've got the bundle in your bag, in your no, if you've got the bundle in your basket, sorry, then make sure you check out because then there, wo there won't be enough. There won't be enough of these. Um, and then, if you've got the lilac ones, especially the midnight one and the golden hour one, check those out as well. Right now, I'm not in tomorrow, but I am in on uh, Monday. It's my birthday show on Monday. And um, I've got a very special birthday competition. That's all I'm going to say. But somebody could win £75 worth of sewing quarter goodies. Uh, I'm going now. Hannah's all upset now because I've told you and we were supposed to keep the surprise Mondays because she's not in on Monday. Thanks ever so much for your company. I'll see you Monday morning when I'm on with uh, Joe Carter. And like I say, any problems, oh, they've gone. Ring the call centre. They'll sort everything out for you. Thanks ever so much for putting up with me this morning and I'll see you at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air.